The following Toku podcast to contain spoilers from both past and present Tokusatsu, anime, manga, movies and other related media. If you do not wish to be spoiled we suggest turning off the podcast now. Otherwise please enjoy the show. Hello everybody, welcome to the Tokusatsu Podcast, the best show about Tokusatsu you've probably never heard of. As always, I am AJ, that's Jay. I'm dying of sweat. And that's... Phil. Here comes a boom, yeah! Fill up in black, yeah! Why am I singing like Natalie? Oh yeah, here comes a boom! <laughs> Little does Phil know that he doesn't still... He still does not understand that I can either mute or cut this out completely. I'd like to see. It's in fact one of my best qualities. I'd like to see you, you try know what? You should, shoot, you should, no. you should, you should, you uh, should, hang on. I should just replace his intro with another intro of his from like an older episode. That's what I was, that's what I was going to say. I was going to say, um, <laughs> I was going to say just take random snippets of his lines from like this episode in general and just reassemble it <laughs> YouTube uh, style oh, into dude. a new intro. <laughs> I am Phil. I piss in my face. Uh, <laughs> I should totally do that now that you're I'm, I'm not surprised, you sick son of a bitch. I'm, I should actually do this now. <laughs> this is, this, you gave me a really bad idea. Yeah, thanks a lot, Jay. I'll be, I'll, I'll be sure to shake the birdcage tonight. Alright, I need it. So, uh, where do we start here? Because we're, we're, uh, we're doing... Uh, Doing something a little different. We're doing the mailbag, of course, but we're also kind of just shooting the shit at the same time. We're not really sticking to the mailbag format that we usually do, so whatever happens, happens. We're going to talk all about basically. me tonight. Well, you could. No one's going to hear it. He could. So, because why? Yeah, I mean, well, again, you can technically talk about yourself the entire two hours. But then Jay and I will just come back tomorrow and do the actual you episode. You guys realize I'm joking around. Yes, we do. So why are you taking the bait? Shit. We're not. Shit, he got us. He got us. Uh, anyways, so, back to the question, shall we? Uh, we'll start, you know what, we'll start from the, we'll start from, like, the non-Toku stuff and go work our way up, shall we? So, right. let's see. All right. Uh, this one's from Ronald. Let's start off real. Let's start off real fast. What is a show and or movie that you hate, everyone loves, and vice versa? So we love, everyone hates. Uh, fuck, dude. I don't. There's there's a lot. Oh, <laughs> there's a lot. I don't know. A lot of you know those, what? Those I'll say this right now. CW shows are popular, and like the the DC ones, they're all fucking garbage. But yeah, but nobody who's actually a person watches the CW. I mean, shows. good point. Good point. Nobody. Well, nobody who's a person watches CW in general. My roommate I mean, did. <laughs> well, were they a person? again? <laughs> yeah, he was actually a pretty cool guy. We would talk about Batman until like two in the morning. Hmm, that explains a lot. <laughs> Shut up, Jay. It was um, before your time. You know what? You know what? Before your... <laughs> I'm older. Uh, wait, aren't I older than He's... you? No, I'm no, older than Phil's you. No, Phil's older than both of us. Oh, that's right, yeah. <laughs> I'm your pa- Phil I'm is legitimately going to be 30. I'm oh not, no, I'm not 30 yet. Don't rush my age. I mean, what? You're like going to be 28 this year. 27. Right? Eventually, he's ah, going to be 30, which is a surprising thing. Yeah, but Jay, so are you. <laughs> Eventually, we're all going to be 30. Exactly. <laughs> that was the joke. <laughs> um, you suck, McBain! Well, anyways. Anyways. Um, so, uh, you know what? I know this isn't exactly an unpopular in opinion, but a show that everyone loves, or at least a lot of people love that I hate, Legend of Korra. I still don't care what anyone says. That show is garbage. Look, like, the, from look, the ground up, it's garbage. The only fucking people who still say they like that show are people who were fucking Korasami shippers. They're, those are Fujoshis, and they don't count as humans, therefore their opinions don't matter. <laughs> uh, that shit was fuck. I couldn't even get through season one. It was that fucking bad. This is kind of difficult. Look, you know what the worst part is? Is like... You know, the the premise of the show is not inherently shit. Like, it's a sequel to the original. We're following a new avatar. Awesome. That's cool. And, you know, it, you know, I know some people are like, hey, Kara, she's a woman. It's like, no. Even, like, 
I mean, I do. Had but an... That's unrelated. <laughs> I mean, shit. One of my favorite one of my favorite avatars is Kyoshi because she's a fucking insane I'll... bitch. I mean, that's true. Like, this is hard for me because I have a coworker and she found out that I'm an avatar fan and she also is too. So to kind of annoy her every now and then, I always sneak up a hundred and say, "Ang is better." He's like, "No, he is in chorus." And my biggest point because. She says, you haven't even watched the show, so you can't even say anything about it. And so I watched season one. It's like, yeah, you still didn't watch the show. And I tell her, oh, look at me. I'm Korra. I had all the elements aside from air when I was a baby. Uh, uh. I mean, to be fair, if she, if she unironically thinks Korra is better than Aang, she may have been dropped more than five she times. Has her, she has her. <laughs> wait, look, don't. I'm gonna draw the look. No, like she. I'm. I'm sorry to anybody who's out there who's a Korra fan. If you actually like Korra, you may have to go to a doctor and get your head checked. I don't think you're right, because she Korra is unironically like a shitty character. Like you, you know, you're you know you done fucked up when everybody else in your show is a better character than you are, and yeah. by like a long shot. <laughs> like it's not even. It's not even like. A hard estimate, like genuinely, is probably the worst character in that show. And she's the one we have to she's the main, follow. She's the fucking protagonist. It's, 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 ugh, ugh. You know what? One day I, I probably will do a, an entire review of Korra because I, I remember having to sit through that entire show. Can I do it with you? I, I need a reason to watch the show. No, don't do it. You don't have to. Trust me, Phil. As he remembers who it, the show, so you, you don't, don't have, have to. to. Oh. Fuck you! <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I felt that coming. Yeah, thanks, Doug. Where's you, where? Where have you been? Where have you been uh. since like 2012? <laughs> if Phil, if, if wait, if AJ is the nostalgia critic, does that make me the black guy or the woman? <laughs> <laughs> wait, which woman though? Which woman? Listen, I said. I say that as the meme. I know that, Mel- like, I know everybody says Malcolm's actually a nice guy, and I don't have any opinion on him one way or the other. But I didn't remember his I mean, name off the top cool of my hand. Enough, I guess. And, yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, other than being like a, a weirdo furry, I mean, he seems to be all right. Malcolm, if Look, you're watching Jay, we this, can, we, if you're listening to this, we love you. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. He's gonna be listening. You'd to be this. surprised. You'd be surprised. Look, no, he would not. I mean, I wouldn't say it's impossible, but it's unlikely. Look, Jay, we can't have hypothetical blackface on this podcast, okay? Anyways. Oh um, <laughs> any, um, I'm going to call my next band that. <laughs> hypothetical blackface? <laughs> what kind of band would it be? Like, free jazz? Yeah. Like, oh, it could be a ska band. That'd be amazing. What the hell is ska? Uh, that'd be a pretty bu- uh, baller ska band. Do you not know what ska I is? I have no idea what the fuck ska is. You've watched O's and you don't what know what fuck? ska is. No, I don't. Have you? It's fucking. What is wrong with listen you? To, listen to any of O's soundtrack. Wait, fuck's sake! O's opening is wait. Ska. All those insert. All those insert themes are. No, no, no. The inserts are not all ska. Wait, is ska but a the, band the, the, or the ska music. a genre? It's a, a it's genre. a genre. You moron! Sh- fucking like. <laughs> How, well, I'm so, sorry. I, I have a never life, heard Jay. Phil, you, life, you've never does. heard, like, half of the fucking Tony Hawk soundtrack? I never like, played the Tony saying? Hawk games. I never played those. What's wrong have. with you? Because I like other right? things, you jackass! <laughs> How old are you again? <laughs> Dude, I didn't have an X- I didn't have a PlayStation 2 or an Xbox until, like, the 360 and the end of the PS2's lifespan. Oh, I Again, I am honest already. to God shocked that, like, you of all people, Phil, have never heard of Scott. No, I haven't. Like, knowing what you are into, I am shocked. Let me, like, legitimately I gotta look flabbergasted. The, I gotta look this up. Hang, I gotta look this up because I'm, I'm starting to get flabbergasted. But, like, you've heard it before. I know for a fact you've heard it before. Oh, you just oh, less, less than Jake. Like, do, 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 do. Yeah. Yes. Now, okay, okay. Now I know what you mean. Yes, I've heard. I've. I've heard ska music. I just didn't know that that was the genre. Yeah, it's basically just a really upbeat kind of jazz, basically. Okay. Um. So what were we talking? Oh, uh, hi- fucking hypothetical blackface ska uh, we shows that. Poo-poo-pee-pee. Oh wait, that's right. Yeah. Well, actually, see, I was gonna say if, if any if anybody from that guy with the glasses watches this, it would. 
Oh no, Lynn Carson's not even on there anymore. He no. fucking bitched oh, out. Oh, he jumped ship. I mean, the. Uh, he bitched out. I just forgot. I mean, to be fair, if. Well, that, there, that's like three people. I mean, with our luck, it'd probably be Guru, Guru Larry, and I hope because Guru Larry <laughs> is fucking great. Oh, uh, dude, if Guru Larry would be is listening to us right now, that'd be fucking weird. <laughs> I like his. I like his. I mean, of all is, the people who to be listening to him, I, I have Larry. so many Chris Chan questions to ask him. I mean, <laughs> Guru Larry is fucking everywhere online. I wouldn't be surprised if he listened to us. He, he's he's that he is literally that uncle that like you just seemingly meet everywhere. He's pretty he's, much it's yeah. like oh, it's Uncle Larry. He's like Jack Nicholson at the end of Anger Management in the doorway, just like in the shadows waving. Um, but yeah, if anybody would be listening to us from that, well, not, again, there, he's not technically from that website anymore. It would be Linkara, mm. because apparently that guy loves to um what do you call it he loves to like uh ego search himself a lot well, so, oh that's then again i don't think we've ever used his name don't you talk his... about me you son of a bitch it is who I. is that who, oh, who oh, said oh, that get him out of here there he is there he <laughs> is throw, that, throw him out of here get him <laughs> out of the cold jacket, don't, don't give his jacket don't give his jacket back don't give me his jacket back you kill that one Holy shit! Jesus, that, said that, wow. that oh. is getting clipped, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> I am, that is going right into the server. I, really I don't know. Like, I'm not the one who shit. said that. I really. <laughs> you know what? If 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 Discord had like audio emotes, <laughs> that'd be the first one in there. <laughs> I hate that you guys told me that. I hate that you guys introduced. Me. And so I was watching this, the, the, the famous Power Rangers rant, and he's like, it'll be done when it's done. Okay, it's a, it's a good work. We ethic. appreciate and the work ethic. Done when it's done. The Great Iron <laughs> I is... I love it. <laughs> <laughs> really, the Great Iron is... I fucking love that video so uh. goddamn much. <laughs> Seriously, <laughs> how, do you, how do you fucking top that? Um, uh. Anyway, so yes, uh, he would probably be the only one who'd watch it Yeah. He'd probably be really mad because he's like, "Oh, don't talk about me." Oh, you, uh, you should you should have seen his uh, his response to fi- finally finding out about Oni, which was, "Oh, I did," all, and he's such a bitch. <laughs> first of all, pretending like he had totally never seen the video before, um, but on, also was just like such such a bitch. It was hysterical. Send, send me that. Send me he that. Fu- I it was. Oh, uh, that I sent oh, it the other on day. That, on that topic, uh, I was Where just, is it? I was browsing. I was browsing a Linkara thread the other day because I had nothing else better to do. Um, and somebody posted a video of the Irate Gamer, and Irate Gamer is an entirely unrelated story. Uh, <laughs> it was like a live stream he did. And somebody asked him a question about Linkara, and he had absolutely no fucking idea who Linkara was. I know, was that was the funny, best, wasn't it? Thing. He's just like, I don't know who she is, I don't know about any of her content, I, I <laughs> guess she's alright. Like, oh, that's right, her, I don't know who she is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, uh, God, Linkara as a girl. I would not want to imagine that. Ugh. I didn't know you went to the same farm I did, Jay. Um, <laughs> it was Co. <laughs> oh, was it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> no, so, so yeah. I, I mean, you know what? If he ever does find us and he, and he ever does ever hear about what we're saying, I, the, the fucking bitch fit he would throw would be amazing. Ugh. It would be amazing. Um, so, yeah, um... Back to the question. I mean, I already gave my answer about what movie or show people love. That I, I and then we'll use the uh, uh, blah 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 blah. The show that I hate, everyone loves. Then I'll give my answer of the show I love, everyone hates thing right now. So everyone else can go first. Uh, honestly, I don't watch a lot of like non anime toku stuff, and I try to like I try to avoid a lot of like oh this is super popular kind of shit because. I know it's always terrible, but honestly, there's not a whole lot of shit that I like that a lot of people hate. I think that's just kind of coincidental. So I don't really have a good answer for the other half. Um, honestly, like a lot of like the big flavor of the month popular shit is like I think it's all fucking garbage. I've tried to watch like I've tried to watch Demon Slayer and it's bad. I tried to watch My Hero Mac- Macadamia Nut and it's bad. <laughs> I tried to watch fucking Attack on Titan when it started, and it's bad. All of those shows are bad. What about Hansel and Gretel Nuts? I don't know what that is. That's he's talking about the he's talking about Saber. Yeah. Um, 
Oh, I still yeah, least, I still haven't would... watched Saber, and everybody fucking says Saber is great, and I think it looks like shit, so... Who the fuck says it's great? Well, okay, a lot of people who let me let me say this right now to anybody who says it's probably this, okay? somebody in our let server. Me let me let me let me let me sit you fucking down and let me tell you right now, boy. Anybody who tells you that Saber is great, unironically had a piece of their brain popped off as a child. Okay, but AJ, I mean, I already knew that. Garbage. You, know, you didn't need to tell me that. It is no, I mm, no. No, 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 no. Get that shit out. Get hey, AJ, shit. remember? We'll, we'll get back when, to it. We'll get to when, it in August. Remember when Toma basically pulled the wing car a green screen? He did. It was the greatest <laughs> thing in the world. Actually, Jay, did you see that? I don't think so, no. Dude. Oh my god, Jay, hold on. I, I have it right okay, here, actually. I gotta be honest. I gotta be honest. Like, I, I, Oh, oh, wait, wait, wait. No, now I remember. It took me... I couldn't really hear you. Yeah, I saw the, the fucking... Ru- <laughs> the fucking running <laughs> fucking hysterical oh, dude okay uh. when I saw that it, it took it took me legitimately like 15 minutes to stop laughing <laughs> I was dying laughing when I saw that I was like they had to have known <laughs> Oh. They had to have known it didn't. Even if they don't know who Link Car is, they had to have known it don't look good. Man, fucking like, <laughs> I can't wait for this green screen shit to end. It's Would like fucking re- Zen, Zen Kaiger's avoided it so far for the most part. I'm glad about that. Like their secret base that they never use is CG, and that's like a green screen, and it looks like shit. <laughs> And Zox's ship is all green screen, which I guess is cheaper. It's fine. Would you rather like shit, be the unreal just... stuff that they've been using in, in Saber? No. God, no. I'd rather it be real. Exactly. exactly. You, you know what we came here for. Exactly. No, but um, but yeah, we'll, we'll not t- I won't speak on Saber until August because it's going to have 50 episodes because I guess Ghost Rider just does... He can't have an, a series that's under 50 episodes. But AJ, Caliber's in you, it. you, I guess. Caliber's in it. Oh, yeah, Caliber. Caliber, the most brain-dead motherfucker since Tofu. <laughs> I uh, mean, I don't know. Jesus. The final boss looks like it's going to be Shin Ken Gold, which... It be. is. It is Shin Ken it Gold. Is. It is. No, that's that's what I mean, is that he might end up being this final boss and oh, then it's no. not going to get another Jay, last second monster... No, he, he, listen to me. You want listen to, to me. No, I will not listen to you. Do you know what he looks like? Not Common Rider Solomon, Common Rider fucking armor hero. That's what he looks like. He does. But look that's like not what you're saying. No, what I'm saying is that like if they don't replace him with a big shitty monster last second like they always do, I might actually think oh. it's pretty neat. Which they're going to do, but Well, I mean if it's Ghost Rider I mean, it could it could be like you Ghost. Know what? They use the fucking no. movie villain, and they. Can't I was about to say they're probably gonna do it again. No, they did uh, use the movie villain. They, they brought did, him yeah, back. That's the joke. Song. They bought. They brought him back. No, I'm talking about making the final boss of the show a recolor the of movie the movie villain, villain. like Ghost. Yeah, oh. <laughs> oh, that suit was terrible. I, I, I still laugh my ass off that that happened. If he. If this guy does it again, I don't want to hear uh, a single fucking excuse. Yeah, but it's slightly better than Ghost. No, uh, apparently you. we're getting a crossover with when, Ghost. When Drive did had the final villain be a recolor, at least it was interesting. Gold Drive looked like shit, but at least he was an interesting character. It wasn't a literally who giant space flea monster from nowhere <laughs> that replaced the final boss. Fucking Christ. J J J J. It's Gold Gord Drive. Sorry? That's true. Come on. Gorl. 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 Gorl did it. Gorl did it. I, 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 I feel, I it. Oh, God, I, I feel horrible uh, saying that. I feel horrible saying that. Why? It's the way they fucking say it. In the, they, that's how they <sighs> spell it on the official merchandise. Gorl did All right. All right. <laughs> it's fucking hilarious. Um, yeah, I mean, again, we'll, we'll get to Saber in August because I guess God hates me. Ugh. Um... Uh, d- 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 a show I if we're going by like a show a, a yeah, show I, a show I hate but everybody loves actually well no it's the other way around. well uh, with that uh, no no I haven't done the I haven't done the uh, thing I hate but everybody loves I haven't done that yet yeah but it's, I think that was the first one I, dude who fucking knows at this point all right? uh, uh, yeah it was it was the, it was the one that you hate and everyone loves honestly uh, I, I mean honestly I well okay first I can't say I can't say Shit's Creek because I haven't gotten to the funny parts yet. But I can't. But I'm not. What funny parts? Like the 
Uh, they say get to season three. It's like, no, you told me season two was good. But honestly, the the one I don't like, <laughs> it's Friends. You have to keep getting to the next season. It'll get better next Friends. season. Oh, yeah. Final like Fantasy Friends. 13 gets good 20 hours in, guys. Trust me. <laughs> but no, guys, I don't like Friends. I watched it. It sucks. I, it's just I, not I, funny. I don't. Look, I, I like half the ca- half the characters I like and half the cast I can't stand. Uh, I mean, I enjoy it, but I just don't see the appeal of it. I really don't. It's like... They would not survive in today's environment. Like, literally, no 20-year-old can get a, a two-bedroom apartment like that in the city with the money that they make. It's, it's impossible. It's literally impossible. Also, it's the same running gag. If I have to hear, we were on a break one more time, I was going to throw the computer right over right over the into the wall. I kid you not. Oh, you're talking about friends. Yeah, I, I can't oh. stand the show. I hate I was friends. like, wait, what the... Like- what the fuck? What Why is are... this show that sounds exactly the same as Friends? Because you were you were talking about that other show. No, and Shits, I was Shits, like, Shits, yeah. Shits Creek is different. Shits Creek is like, it basically take the spoiled rich and put them with a bunch of rural dummies. Royal, uh, yeah, I've 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 watched it. It's boring. I you, I can't. I, I don't can't know how Eugene. I, I I don't know how Eugene left Levy wastes himself in his own fucking production, but he somehow accomplished it. He's somehow wasting himself in a, a, as an actor in his own fucking show. I mean, people tell me, he, oh, it gets funnier, it, it gets funny. I watched season one, and I've been, look, I, look my, my, it was supposed to be a family thing, but my parents, I said, fuck it, you know what, they're not watching it, they're they're, they're not interested, I'm just gonna keep going with me, with, the, on my way. Season two, the only I'm not care, laughing. The only care, I've watched, I watched a bunch of it, because my dad and his girlfriend were watching it when I was still living with them. The only character I like is the sassy gay kid, and that's because he's a surprisingly well done sassy gay kid stereotype, which is weird to say. He's but honestly, yeah, I, actually, s same fucking thing. Whatever. I actually do like how they <laughs> how they describe pansexuality. They they well, they use me, well they use a me, he uses a metaphor in like as using as an example of wine as an example of like he likes red wine but he also likes white wine pinot grigio a little more low and his father explained to best he's like he just likes it but he it doesn't matter what you are or how you identify he just like he's attracted to you i'm like that's actually a really really good way of explaining it pansexuality is just bisexuality with extra steps okay pretty much yep yeah, i mean pretty much it's bisexuality too Bisexuality too. <laughs> the Insert quick and um, guy gif here. <laughs> uh, Electric boogaloo. If we're, yeah. If we're, if we're if we're talking about a show that I like that everyone seems to hate though, or a movie that I like that everyone seems to hate, I can't really think of any besides like, like st- stuff that I stuff that I just know stuff that like I know is bad but I still like it. Uh, like the like Mortal Kombat nineteen ninety five. <laughs> Like I still like that movie. It's garbage. That movie's, that movie's it a great, movie. dude. A lot of people love that movie. I mean, movie. It, like, like as as a, as a movie, it's stupid and stupid and shit. But as an actual like like thing to just watch and have fun with, it's it's great. You know, I mean, it's, it's not it's, it's not even great. like a badly made movie. I mean, it's it's average. Oh, no. I mean, it's it's not like great or anything. It's de- it's a decently made movie. It's fun. It's just it's, Look, it's a Mortal Kombat it, it's movie. It's fucking Mortal Kombat. Yeah, it's it's it naturally pants on head retarded. Christopher Lam Christopher Lambert as Raiden is still somehow simultaneously the worst and best casting choice. I love the fact that they brought him back for MK11. Yes, oh my god, they yeah, did. So- <laughs> They, no, no, they brought him back, they brought Shang Tsung back, they brought the original Johnny Cage I back, mean, and the original Sonya back. Wait, wait, they, wait, 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 they brought back Lyndon Ashby? Yeah, he, they, so what they did was, they did movie skins of the original, like, cast, like, full on, like, scanned in their faces, modeled them after the movie, and people thought, oh, it's just your skins. No, they brought back the original actors, and they're great. The only one that kind of... Kind of owned it in is Sonya. She kind of sounds a little flat. I mean, they brought back the worst actor of that movie, Bond. So. Yeah, they brought back everybody. Besides Robin Show, because I don't know where, the, where Wait, he is. Wait, Robin Show, uh, Wu Kang? Yeah, the original. Oh, Robin Show, Apparently where they are did you? say. Apparently they did say they wanted to bring them back for the skin, so I'm, I'm into that. Fuck it. Jay, what, what um, were you saying about Sonya? I, I cut you off. I was going to. I was saying that she she was the worst actor in that movie to begin with, so I mean it's well, not that surprising. You know she originally wasn't supposed to play the part. It was supposed to be Cameron Diaz, but Cameron Diaz actually broke her wrist oh and she needed to heal. That would have been worse. 
Why know, the fuck right? would they cast Cameron Diaz in Mortal Kombat? Because the mask came out at the time, that's why. I guess that's a good point. I guess. And I mean, they had a... Uh, another trivia fact. Who the f- Sonya's actress. Who the fuck was Cammy in the San- uh, the Street Fighter movie? It was like it was Kylie Minogue or something, right? Like that's like I don't know. That's like on the same level of like what the fuck are you doing level of casting. <laughs> I know, right? That's like John Claude Van Damme is Guile. Let's be honest. Oh, good that God. was that was so fucking bad. I don't know what they were thinking. Not, that was no. I I don't I don't even know. Was he like a big star at that exact moment? I mean, Van Damme was pretty huge for like the entire late 20th century AJ. I mean... But I nothing beats Raul Julia as M. Bison. Well, no, because he was actually good. Yeah, exactly. Well, what's like, uh... What's like, um... What do you call it? It's like, uh... How, how, I can't remember his name off the top of my head. The original sang song. Like, he just works. Oh, Kari uh... Tanaka. Because... Yeah, yeah. Kari Tanaka. Who also coincidentally played Heihachi... In yeah, in Tekken, the in the Tekken movie, which yeah. I mean, which also really fits with the giant yeah. eyebrows. I mean, that movie sucked, but like it, it wasn't even like ironically good, like Mortal Kombat. No, the Tekken movies no. were just bad. Okay, he was, like, he was perfect as Heihachi. Did really like listening to his voice? Like, just how? Dude, I swear to God, they probably just cast him because of how he speaks. Because if you've ever heard of how how this guy speaks, it's like. You you you've killed people. Your yeah, brother. he just sounds, killed a lot of people. He sounds evil. He does sound. But evil. he's probably the nicest like, guy in the world. I think he, usually he probably are. is. He he probably is. It's just like he just sounds like you've murdered countless people. Probably, <laughs> it's great. <laughs> um, mm. th- though you know it's funny. I was actually thinking of doing a like a fair review of both ninety five and twenty twenty ones. Mortal I Kombat st- and I then like doing a comparison. The new one. Neither I need to watch it. I've heard I've heard so many mixed things about it. I've heard it's okay, but it kind of missed the mark. It's weirdly it's like weird because it doesn't really follow some of the stuff from the games. And I know a lot of people hated like the the guy they got for the main guy because it wasn't really anybody from the uh, the Mortal Kombat games. It was just like an OC for some reason. Oh, um, like Ciro, like Ciro, the greatest, uh, greatest Mortal Kombat contestant ever. It's just it, that's a it, fucking I've heard deep so cut. Many, Jesus, I, I know, right? <laughs> I've heard, I've heard so many weird mixed things about it that I'm like kind of interested in the way, but at the same time, I'm like, mm. I know it's not going to be as cheesy or as fun as '95 because at this point, MK kind of takes itself a little more seriously than it did back in 1995. Somehow so. takes itself more seriously, despite being ten times as goofy and batshit. <laughs> I know, right? Like, like, when you think about it, when you think about it, how do you take yourself more seriously the dumber you get? I know, like, like <laughs> Mortal, Mortal Kombat should not have gone the direction it did. It should have gone in the complete opposite direction. <laughs> it should have kept so the direction weird. from Nine. Dude, do you Pretty know much. how outlandish those games got? You'd have to introduce Shinnok, Onaga. You'd have to introduce the uh, the uh, the Elder Gods. Oh, you'd be going down fucking rabbit. They've hole. already done that. Yeah, I know. And I don't need to. Go, I Dude, don't. Th- no, not only did they, not only did they, <laughs> I I know people make the joke, but not only did they introduce the Elder Gods, they basically introduced the Elderest Gods now, <laughs> where it's like gods among them. I'm like, what the? Fuck? You know what? Fuck the so, Mortal Kombat movies. We need a killer instinct movie. That's what we need. There's no lore to really go there besides stupid. <laughs> yeah, you can, well, yeah. that's the thing. Make it a, make it fun. Make it outlandish. Make us, make us believe that Ultra Tech is evil Walmart. Yes, I'm quoting Death Battle. Shut up. That's how I learned about most of my lore from Killer Instinct. I'm drunk. You're not drunk. You're just stupid. I'm drunk. <laughs> I learned it from you, AJ. I learned it from watching you, Dad. <laughs> I learned it from watching you, Dad. Um, anyways, so let's... M- I guess fuck that question. <laughs> no, no, we're gonna keep yeah, answering that question. Yeah, we kinda answered that question. I mean, we we did. Of, no, we did. no, Jay didn't... What, what, I didn't answer what... We didn't... Jay didn't answer what he likes, but everybody hates. No, kind I mean, of, I did, I did yeah. answer. I, I didn't, didn't have an answer. So. I have an answer. I got an answer. And it's hard, because it's actually something that you guys hate. And it's something I've been watching the last few days. Uh-huh. Red versus blue. I I like it, but you guys hate it. 
I never said I hated it. I just don't. I just don't care for it. Okay, then fuck it. All right. Like legitimately, the with Red vs. Blue, I watched again. I watched it in middle school because a buddy of mine had brought his. Because this was like back in the day when like Halo One Combat Evolved was like for free for no reason. Um, he brought his computer. We were doing like a project. He he brought his computer, and he put like some random episode. And I thought, oh, this is kind of funny. I I'm, I'm I I giggled, but I didn't really care for it because again at the time I was really I was way more into RB and the Chiefs because like that was just really fucking good. You didn't I mean, say yeah, it was it was always better. So, unironically, dude, I kind of want to like do like a like a weird little video retrospective on that show because it's even like as I got older, it's really fucking good. Even now, it's great. Mm. Um, I tried watching it. So, I, I I don't know if I can get into it. I mean, it depends. Where did you start? Did you start from the very start? I want to start from the very start. You you kind of have to because it's because a lot of it has to do with like the the evolution of the characters at the same that's time. That's also the same. That's, I love that's it. the same thing with Red vs. Blue. I started it at like yeah, but Red vs. Blue is eighteen seasons. No, Red no, was like it, it, there's a thing. Like okay, seasons one to five, all comedy. They have a story, but it's mostly comedy. Seasons six and onwards, that's when the dramatic story goes on. Uh, season 16, I want to say. Yeah, 16. They try to do the series and the comedy again, but or mostly the comedy. It's like, you're not doing it well. You're not doing well. I, no offense to Miles Luna, but it's not going well. Don't When you have a world that doesn't, oh, that doesn't have cosmic entities and you introduce cosmic entities, it doesn't fucking work. Also, this Again, this is why, uh, as as the moment you tell me that Red vs. Blue went over five seasons, I my brain just stops caring because like, it, it. I mean, to be fair, it's not even just red, a Red vs. Blue thing. That's that's with any fucking show, dude. Like, if a show goes for more than like five, six seasons, it's really hard to give a shit. You know what I mean? It's like with The Simpsons. You know, like who the fuck watches The Simpsons anymore? <laughs> Some good point. That, that's a that's, that's like a person, or at you know? least. Enjoyment like, out of it instead of sadism. Well, it's like again, it's like once you get, I've, I think for me, once you get past like season seven, that's when you're just like, okay, what the fuck are you doing now? You know what I mean? I think the only one that hasn't jumped that shark was like Letterkenny, but that's because every season's like six episodes, and most of the episodes are like eight, like twenty to thirty minutes long. <laughs> So, so they're really short episodes. You know what? I love Letter King. Thinking about it again, I don't really have an answer for that. Okay, for it now, like something I I love, but everybody else hates. Because I I was yeah, because I, I was thinking about that too. Because like I don't really know about a lot of things that people hate. Yeah, uh, I mean, I mean, now that I know, I mean, I misinterpreted what you guys said in the last mailbag when we talked about Red versus Blue. Well, no, no, that was our shooting the shit one. I. No, no, Phil. That was our pre-cure episode. Yeah, oh yeah, that's right. That was our pre-cure episode. Yeah, I, uh, I misinterpreted that as you guys not liking it because I mean, as not liking it. Now, now it's just you know you like it. You just not. You, it's just not your cup of tea. I, honestly, I'm I'm trying to give the best answer I can, and I don't have an answer for this one. I I, I think I think with Red versus Blue, if I actually sat down and had literally nothing else going on in my life, I could probably watch the entire thing and give you a straightforward answer of whether I like it or not. It's just. 18 fucking seasons, dude. No. I can tell you... I, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not doing that. I can that. tell you... Let me give you a rundown of it, okay? Outside of, like, the... the it, it's fine. You don't look, have to. Seasons... It's fine. Season, you don't have to. Season 6 and 8? Is season 6... He still does. Six, He's six, still oh, gonna mind, do it, mind, yeah. Mind, never mind. He still does. <laughs> no, honestly, the one thing I will say, the Chorus Trilogy is probably... It, it starts slow, but honestly, it's one of the best trilogies that they have. I, I'm not lying. It is... So, next up, we've got one from uh, Lucas. <clears throat> For the musically inclined amongst you. All right. I'm what out. have y'all been... Oh, boy. <laughs> shut the fuck up, <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shut up now. No, so for the, for the musically inclined amongst you, what have y'all been listening to? Uh, easy. Um, I've been going through every single album of the Gorillas and seeing how gradually they got shit. <laughs> I mean, they're... It, they're like a guest act every every song. It's hard for them to not <laughs> no. Get shit you know what? He, he, here's what pisses me off about the gorillas is that like when it's just Damon Albarn doing his shit, it can get really damn good. 
It's just when he has to fucking shove, like with humans, when he has to shove a fucking guest actor into almost every fucking track, it's garbage. And I don't care what anybody says, Humans was a shit album. <laughs> you, you know that your album is bad when your one single is Hallelujah Money, and it's the fucking tit. It's like, not even... Ugh. But yeah, I mean, I, I've been going through those. There's been some highlights. I mean, I've been kind of getting into it a bit more. Though, and I sound like a hipster when I say this, but... Like, their first four albums really, really is where I say stop, honestly. After that, I just don't care. <laughs> I it's ugh. I don't know. Maybe I'm a hipster saying that I just don't like most of the Gorillaz albums after like Plastic Beach. I, Even Plastic Beach is on the edge. Uh, yeah, yeah they, they they should have stopped while they were ahead. To be entirely honest, I honestly the fact that I they should have stopped when they tried doing that fucking cartoon show and they never got it off the ground. And it's like, well, now what? What was the show? Donkey Kong Country. Now it's like Country? fucked. <laughs> <laughs> were, they the, were they the ones that made the song? Hey, yo, everybody, let's go. Here we go, Banana Slammer. <laughs> I mean, it sounds like something they would put on. They put on it. Yeah, it's about, oh, it's about their level of quality these days. I, sw- I swear to yeah. God, that song's out in my head again. I hate you guys for that. You're the one who sang well, it. Know. That's true. I know. I know. Right? I know. But uh, for me, for music. Uh, I've mostly... Phil, Phil, is the, Phil is the physical embodiment of that picture of a guy dr- riding a bicycle and then putting a stick under it and blaming someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, as you uh, I Well, I haven't been deconstructing stuff. Mainly, I've been... Uh, it's most, I've mostly been listening to music on my, on my ways to work. It's mostly Octane on Sirius XM, and I found some songs that I do enjoy. Uh, King of Misery by Saul... And I'm starting to really love uh, uh, Star Set. Uh, their songs Trials and Echo. Oh, God, I love Echo. When are you going to move on to grunge? Dude, do I look like... Do I, what, 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 what does this look like? 1993? Hey, your comedy is about, this, about the right age. Heyo! Hi! That's, uh, good night, everybody. I wish I was Jay Leno. Look at all those fucking cars he has. No, I mean in level of in level of uh, co- no, you know what? No, I, I can't compare you to Jay Leno because you didn't take. Honestly, dude, if I if I was if I was Jay Leno, <laughs> even if I had that level of comedy, I'd be paying. I'd be getting paid. Dude, you d- you fucking. didn't need. Well, at least you didn't take the Tonight Show from Conan O'Brien. You know He's what, got you there. Hindsight, to be fair, in hindsight, was that really such an egregious act? <laughs> was it really that bad? <laughs> Considering what we got afterwards, dude, we really got J- we got Jimmy Fallon after that. I know that's that's what I'm saying. Yeah. In in hindsight, none of this is a good. It was a good. Hey, idea. we lost Craig. Uh, we lost Craig it? Ferguson to look. I don't have a problem with James Corden, but some he he's hit or miss with James me. Corden's a cunt. Or, ooh. I, I have no problem saying that. He's a cunt. Anyways, what about you? Reasons? Jay? He's fat. Jay. <laughs> that He's fat! <laughs> that ain't a reason. I said I'm dipping out for a reason. I'm not a music guy. I don't really listen to a whole lot of music, so... Oh. I, he's see. just a... I thought, I thought you were dipping out because of the Among Us thing. <laughs> no. No, that's just that's just because it's sus, you know. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm gonna go kill myself now. I hate I hate myself. You, don't make me don't make me post Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, that's bad. I love that picture. I love that picture so fucking much. Um, all right. So I guess going on from that, uh, another simple question uh, from Dave: What have y'all been playing? Uh, I just I've been playing Nakusa too. Because it's it's literally in, like consumed my life. It's his job right now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it is. Um, all I can say about Yakuza Two is that it's uh, so far that I, so I don't spoil what the review says. Uh, better than one. Fuck that final boss fight. <laughs> uh, there you go. Uh, I was playing Resident Evil Eight for a little while, and then I got to the. Factory. Are you playing big woman titty? <laughs> Yeah, and then I got to the factory part, and then I said, fuck this, this is boring, I hate this, and I stopped playing it. Um, I haven't picked it back up yet. Uh, I probably should at some point. Uh, Otherwise, I've been just playing, like, Terraria and uh, 
Gundam Battle Operation 2, pretty much. Uh, Terraria 2021? <laughs> Listen, I like... I am a simple man. <laughs> I see game where I place block, I play it. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds so simple, Jay. I, I wonder why I you're... I play it block? <laughs> I have block. I can place block. I please a game. I'm pl- I'm surprised you're not more addicted to like Minecraft than. <laughs> hey, I've never really liked Minecraft to be entirely honest. Good. That makes sense. Mm. Uh me. The but, last thing I played was well, this is probably about a month ago. Doom Eternal. I was playing a lot of Doom Eternal because. Let's just say uh, work can get frustrating, and I need to vent. And uh, doing performing glory kills on demons is an excellent way to vent. Then I got up to the ancient gods part one, and uh, let's just say I got burnt out, like very burnt out. It gets, it gets. I just stopped enjoying it for a while. I've been taking a break. I'm trying to. I want to get back into Hollow Knight and finally play Kingdom Hearts Three Remind. I'm honestly god shocked you have not played Remind yet, dude. I, I do remember last year I had no job. I couldn't afford. I couldn't afford the. Uh, I, could, I couldn't afford the DLC. And, uh, and by the now, time you play it, Kingdom Hearts Four will be out. <laughs> yeah, by the, yeah. Give me 13 years. I'll have time. Two hours. I, I, I two, a two hour campaign takes me 13 years to play. I mean, if what Nomura said is. To be believed, which it's not. <laughs> Ford's not that far around the corner. I'd like to believe that, and I'm not buying a PS5 just to play it. I just, you're not gonna have a choice, bud. I ain't. Uh, yeah, <laughs> you ain't getting 500 bucks out of me. Oh no, 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 no. Again, you're. I mean, if you're if you're if you're gonna want to play, you're not really gonna have a choice at that point, unless they release it on PC. But even then. It'd probably be so graphic intensive by that. Dude, point. I'll just buy it on. St- I'll just buy it on Steam. It's not on. Steam. Fuck! All the Kingdom Hearts are on the Epic Store. Oh great, great. Um. I mean, at that point, at that point, we, we might still all have haven't to learned fucking... our lesson. And we still. I mean, at that point, we might all have to fucking upgrade our PCs to play Kingdom Hearts. Dude, 5. I'm gonna. Have to, I'm gonna have to mad. buy a PC. I'm gonna have to buy a PC just to play all this stuff now. Uh, but other I mean besides other than yeah. that I've been pl- I want to get I do want to get into Abzu haven't you guys heard of Abzu heard of it it's never really yeah. caught my eye so I've never really wanted to pick it up it's not it's not an in-depth game it's one of those like honestly the best way I can say it is if you want to decompress from a long day of work for two hours it's a very soothing game. It's it's not it's it's gonna relax you. It's a, it's a good it's it's a good game. I, I'm not I'm not into those types of games like um like Journey. I was never into that. I was never into Journey because it was just like eh, whatever you know. What what if, if again? What's no, that? no, I was about to say. So you're not into uh, this game? What? I'm doing. I'm singing. I'm singing Shadow of Colossus like Super Butter Buns. Oh, I, I, uh, okay. I can. I can literally hear the crickets from that joke. I love. I, oh, I love. I love Butter Buns. She's awesome. Of course you do. <laughs> no, because she's funny. Shut up. Uh huh. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, so, so I, I I don't know I, I can I can actually hear Jay believing you right here. <laughs> um, anyways, so, so well, besides says that, the guy who got me into uh, Hollow Life. Yeah, I'm so sorry anyways, for you. I know, right? Anyway, so least I got the, oh, you're uh, fucking one to talk. A, yeah, I got the yeah, I got the best. I, I got the best. Uh, I got the I got the best. I got the best Oshi. I got the best Oshi. Um. So he also had a, another <laughs> follow up, basically, basically asking. Other games that we're like looking forward to this year. Really, the only game I'm looking forward to this year is Judgment Two. Oh, that's coming out this year. It's Fuck. yeah. I gotta play that. I haven't played it so long. Uh, Judgment Two is coming out this year. Um, whatever that next Sonic game is apparently gonna be sounds interesting. Is it me? Ma- they haven't said I, much about uh, it. Oh, I, I could never get into Mania. I, I spent too much time trying to get the Chaos Emeralds. And I'm not enjoying it until I get the damn Chaos Emeralds. Of I don't even I don't even know what other games are co- what other games are coming out this year. Um, uh, I don't know any other games that are coming out this year. I think I think I think I think a lot of shit got really delayed. I mean, the only other game that I know 
that's coming out this year? No, Pokemon Snap already came out, so that's not even a thing anymore. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's I coming know. out this year? I couldn't say, because I don't think there's anything coming out this year at all, to be entirely honest. Well, it's kind of weird when you say it, because, like, we... I mean, again, this is this is me saying it oh, back in my day, whatever. But, like... Did back not, did in not my feel, day! <laughs> did it not feel like back in the day, like... There would be like fifty things we could talk about. Oh my god, that's coming out. Yeah. And now it's like maybe like one or two. Maybe I, I don't know. Maybe that maybe it's just because I've gotten older and I've like refined what I like, or maybe it's just like I don't know. It's weird. It's weird because I don't really think of any other games that I could really be like, oh, I, I want that. Well, game. It's all, well, it's, well, it's game. also because you know we're getting older. Like we don't have like uh, we're. We're not really. We don't really have time for the games anymore, and a lot of them are just re-releases or, or console or, or uh, updates for newer consoles. Pretty much. Well, see, that's the thing. Like, oh, well, see, that's the thing. Like, even even now, like that, I'm older. Like, I still try and keep my like my finger on the pulse of like what games are doing, and even then, it's like, eh. Like, I could literally look up a list of what's coming out in 2021, and I'll be like, I'd have not heard of these fucking games. Neither have I. And I feel really bad about that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, you know what? There was this one game. I don't know if it came out. I don't know if it's going to come out. Have I don't know if you guys see this. It's, it's, a, uh, it's a game where you are... You're, you're a sniper. You're a sniper who has to kill... It, it, it's essentially a version of a battle royale, only it's like 1 against 50. It's, you're a sniper who has to kill like 50 people. And you're bas- it's basically a, a real-time stealth game where... You have to follow around these people, you know, played by actual players. It sounded really fucking interesting. It's like, it's a, it's like basically a stealth game where you have to read real people. And I'm like, that, that sounded really interesting. I don't know if it came out yet. I don't know if it's gonna come out. I don't know if it got canceled. I don't but think so. That does sound. That honestly does sound pretty fun. I'd play. I'd right? Play that. It's like, oh, that's. It, it sounds really cool. It's like, oh shit, you know. You, you, I mean, I love stealth games as a general rule. So. Having to like read actual people, it's like oh shit. Um, besides that, the only other game that I could think of, shit, dude. I mean, the only game that I even was remotely into in 2020 was like Yakuza Seven, <laughs> and that was really it. I got. Uh, wait, re- I, Remind came out in seven in 2020. Yep, right? January. I think so. January 2020, it came out. Oh, that was so fucking early, so it doesn't even count. But yeah, Yakuza 7 was really the only game that I was like, yeah, I want I had, game. basically, I didn't, look, for me, a lot of the games that came out in 2020, or the ones I got in 2020, were either already released games, or they were the ones that year, and I it, it took me a while to get into them, but I got to them, and they're, they, look, I got a bunch of games that I can play, so any... Like I still got, uh, I still got Red Dead Two to play. I still got, I still got, I still got Judgment to complete. I got a, I got a lot of shit. Now, now, now I kind of want to play Judgment again, but it's it takes so long to get everything. I, last thing I played, I finally got up to the odd job section. Trust me when I say if you don't have to do all the side content, but it does give you good shit. It just, you just don't have to. Dude, you know, what, you know what the most frustrating thing in that game for me is? Going around to different locations to try to do the friend options, and then half the time you can't do them. Well, it's because you're not supposed to do them all right away. Really? No. What happens if you do them all? Um, like the cat guy. Oh, God, I hate the cat guy. Again, I know that you don't know this because this is your first time playing Yakuza, but a lot of Yakuza side quests... Very, they're very much tied to where you are in the story. So, if you're so like a side quest that you start in chapter one may not even be able to be finished completely until like chapter six. because uh. because they don't want because it because it's a gradual thing. And usually, if they the 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 further in that they finish, the better equipment you're gonna get. So they don't want to give you a fucking thing that's like, oh. Here's a fucking bat that kills people in one hit in chapter one. You know what I mean? I got you. I got you. So it's it's a gradual thing. You have to think of it like that. But yeah, uh, I mean, yeah. I guess that's about it. So uh, it's... my friend got me into Battlefield One because of the uh, the art because of... it was free, wasn't it? What? Yeah, for it was like six bucks at one point. So I was like, hey, you know what? I'll buy it. Six bucks. No, it's free. It's free this month. Oh, it's free this month. 
I think so. I'll ch- I'll check I'll check later tonight. But honestly, dude, like my friend got me into it. I'm f- I'm only fascinated because of the stories where you're playing as the Arditi, uh, the Ita- the Italian shock troopers, and you get to play alongside Lawrence of Arabia. And I f- and T E and T E Lawrence was one of the most fascinating people in the world. Uh, so next question, finally, uh, what is the worst movie you've ever paid money for, Amy? Uh, I'll tell you right fucking now. I'll tell you right fucking now. Because I will always tell this story because it's always hilarious. I paid one a dollar to pay to watch Suicide Squad. Oh. I got my dollar back. I got my fucking dollar back because it was just that fucking bad. I, it's, it's weird when I... Because I never say this part of the story. But like Suicide Squad really was like a... It was an enlightening experience for me. Like, like legitimately, it was like it was like a third eye opening. You know what I mean? Where it's like, <laughs> I'm sitting there, and I'm watching this movie. What is this? Some kind it, of Suicide Squad? It's some roll, kind of roll Suicide credits. Squad. Like, like I'm, I'm sitting there watching this movie, and I'm, like, and I'm watching this. And, and again, it's like a third eye opening where I'm just like, I feel like I've seen the world now. I, I understand now that this is just garbage. <laughs> like, cause, cause up till then, like a bad movie, I could be like, eh, it's bad, but it's like I'm not upset. With Suicide Squad, I was literally sitting in my seat, like, wow, I want to shoot everybody here. <laughs> I want, I want this building to fucking burn to the ground. It was just like, wow, dude. So that was my th- third eye opening experience. How about you? Um, I got a couple. Oh boy! <laughs> oh no! I think, in general, uh, I have two. I guess I'll I'll narrow it down to. No, you know what? I might as well tell three because one's relatively short. Um, I think worst movie going experience I've ever had. Not necessarily worst movie I've ever seen. Oh, movie going experience. It was. <laughs> I don't remember the movie. This was, like, 2011, 2012, when, like, oh. the shitty C- 3D movie trend was still hot. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, God, that's gone. I don't remember the movie. It was some shitty horror movie about, I want to see Chernobyl or something. Oh, the ch- yes, yes. I know exactly which one you're talking about. I made the mistake of going to go see that instead of Tintin. And I regretted it every day because then I went to go see Tintin the next week and I loved it. Um, so I went into the theater and I think I was, I think I saw it with my older brother. I don't remember. I think it was like family went to the theater and we couldn't decide on what movie. So we all just kind of picked a movie. Uh, <laughs> so we get, so we get into the theater and the lights are still on like 15 minutes <laughs> Oh, after, that's a good sign. oh boy! After so, here's the thing: the movie didn't start. We were there for about 20 <laughs> minutes or so after the movie was supposed to start, and the movie had not started. And then, see, here's the thing: we could hear the audio of like all the previews and shit. There was no video, and the lights were still on. And then finally, somebody gets the lights turned off, and you still can't see the screen. <laughs> And we're there for, again, for about ten minutes, still hearing the fucking previews and everything. We can't hear, you know, we can't see. So eventually, somebody starts the fucking movie, and the 3D's out of focus. (laughs) The fucking gimmick does not work, because (laughs) the fuckwit at the theater didn't get it to work right. (laughs) So, I'm there... Watching a fucking 3D movie that's not in 3D, and then after my older brother and three other people in the theater got up and complained, and they kept trying to fix it, and they kept fucking it up, they stopped the movie and restarted it, and the 3D <laughs> was st- still fucked up, but in a different way, oh, no. where one of the two projecti- projections was out of sync. Uh, so what the fuck? Oh, no. One eye would be behind the other when you're looking through the 3D glasses. And this went on for about 10 minutes before we both decided, 
fuck this, we're done. <laughs> so we dicked around the lobby for about an hour until my mom got out of watching Tintin, which, again, I still regret. <laughs> Uh, and we were like, yeah, the the movie was so fucked up, we literally couldn't watch more than ten minutes of it, and they shut it off. And we went to go get a refund, and they wouldn't give us a refund. And my mom was talked to them for, like, two minutes, and eventually they caved into giving a refund because my mom was that pissed off. <laughs> and then we never went to that theater again. Oh Holy shit, shit, dude. Which is a shame Holy because like shit. that was a huge theater and it was like a re- it used to be a really nice theater and they went super fucking downhill. Oh boy. Now, the worst movies I've seen in the theater uh either a tie between Die Hard 5. Oh no, oh, you I, paid for that. I went to go see it with my dad because my dad was a big Die Hard fan, and he really wanted to see it. Aww. And I was so fucking disappointed watching that movie. I was miserable the entire time. I swear to God, there's a part near the end of the movie where they're like, we have to go to Chernobyl. Weird coincidence, this is also <laughs> about Chernobyl. We have to go to Chernobyl to stop the bad guys. And I swear to God, I was so fucking pissed off about that I almost got up and walked out I legitimately almost (laughs) left the theater because of how retarded the movie was you you know what (sighs) you've inspired me Jay because you've kind of reminded me of another movie I actually put this away in my fucking head I'll go for it I will let you go I'm almost done Uh, the second one was not nearly as entertaining it was I think it was like Fuck! It was oh, was that movie R.I.P.D. with fucking Ryan Reynolds and Jeff Bridges? Oh, oh my god, god. yeah. Which yeah. I wanted to see because they filmed that in Boston, and I remember seeing seeing them film it and watching them filming it, and I was like, oh, this is a cool set. I'm like, oh, this looks neat. Oh, I can't wait to see this movie. And then I went to go see the movie, and it was fucking awful. And they wasted Kevin Bacon. Yeah, and well, I, how do you waste I legit- Kevin Bacon? Legitimately. The second I walked out of the theater, I said at the top of my lungs so everybody in the theater could hear it, that was a load of shit. And then we left. Uh, and this is um, why this is why I don't pay for things, is because when I pay for things, they end up being shit. Um, so the, the one movie and, and I and I kind of like drove this to the back of my mind, but for some reason you talking about it just like are you talking about um <laughs> Shitty Chernobyl uh, movies. <laughs> yeah, it kind of reminded me of. You know what other movie was garbage that I paid for? The Happy Time Murders. Oh my god! That oh. fucking Melissa McCarthy Muppet movie. You paid for that? Fuck. You, you paid. For I it? I thought. See, for me, I was like, you know what? I'm not gonna go off what the what the trailers are going off on. I'm not gonna go off what the trailers say. I'm not gonna. You know, I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna let that cloud my judgment because trailers can be very misleading and they can. How be do f- How do you shit. see Melissa McCarthy and then still decide to pay money for it? Because What's wrong with you? See, the thing is that I know that she has it in her to be good, so I was just like, you know what? I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try and see what's going on here. So I pay for I pay for my ticket. I go oh, in. I sit me. down, and kind of the same way, kind of the same way that you were do- that you were mentioning it, where it's just like. For like fifteen minutes, they were just not starting the movie, so I kind of, sh- kind of thought that was like a bad omen to start with. Um, so fast forward into the movie, we're watching the movie, or I'm watching the movie, and I kind of just get this weird like feeling of like dirtiness. You know, have you ever felt unclean watching a movie? Because that's what this movie kind of made me feel. Well, not like. normal movies, but yes. Nah. Well, I mean, oh, well. <laughs> but, like, so, like, I'm watching the movie, and we get to the scene where one of the puppets, he does the, the silly string ejaculation. Ah! And that's where I was just, like, and, and I'm just there, and I'm just, like, this is garbage. This is, like, really fucking bad. And the worst part is, like, there are a couple of scenes in there where Melissa McCarthy is actually trying to, like, act. And it's, like... Okay, you're you're uh, you're a fantastic dramatic actress. You know she's better than that at than fucking comedy. I can tell you that much. But like watching, <laughs> I'm just like, 
I kind of just feel uncomfortable. Like, none of this is funny. The story is predictable. The Muppet thing kind of, like, lost its luster, like, 15 minutes in. Like, granted, you know, the, the puppet stuff is great. You know, the puppeteering is, like, really top-notch. But it's just, like, it's just, it was just awkward. It was awkward. It was uncomfortable. And I just didn't laugh a single fucking time. Like, not funny. Didn't, didn't laugh. Didn't laugh. <laughs> but, 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 like, legitimately, <laughs> like, the entire movie was just really unfucking funny And, like, for being a rated R movie, it felt juvenile. You know what I mean? Like, it felt like this was stuff that, like, you would put, like, in a stoner comedy for, like, 13-year-olds. Like, dude, where's my car? Oh, yeah, car? absolutely. Uh, hey, now. Just, what? Hey, now. What? Dude, movie's the great. great. I've never seen it, but I was say I was saying it's like is it like that type of stoner comedy? No, no, it's like bottom of the barrel, pee pee poo poo, like joke, American funny. Pie sequel level of bad. Wait, wait, wait! American Pie sequel? Are we talking like the present series or the direct sequels? Just like in general, like all of them, even like American Pie Two was fucking awful. Let's not kid ourselves. Everything after the first, the first movie's not even very good. But everything after it was not good. American like, Union had its moments, except for Stiff were taking a shit in the cooler. Of course you like. Of course I'll, you watched that. Hey, I'll I'll say it like this: it's it it comes off more as what a thirteen, fourteen year old would think a an adult movie with <sighs> puppets kind of should be. That's what it felt like. I got the perfect answer like to that. that Avenue kind of humor. Q. That's what it, they should watch. Avenue Q. They want no. What you've have you, have I, you no, heard yeah. of Avenue Q? Avenue Q. Avenue Q is actually good. That's what I'm saying. Show them something good with puppets. Um, but yeah, that was probably one of the worst movies I ever had to pay for. Like, it was just garbage. I hate that movie so much. I got one. Which, which sucks because which sucks because they wasted very very good puppeteering. Oh, I got a good one. I got a good one. Go for it. RoboCop 2014. I paid money to see that movie instead of seeing the uh, the Lego movie. I remember it was uh what was it? It was February 2014. It was uh, it was Saturday. Just I, uh, the night before we just had a cast party and I was a little a little groggy. And I had to go back that night, so I said, you know what, fuck it, I'm going to go see the movie, I'll go in the afternoon. I walked from campus, walked to the theater, paid my money, got my popcorn. I was maybe like one of like two, maybe three people in that theater. I kind of wish I had been the only one, because, oh boy, being a fan of the original, this movie was bad. I, I mean, it, it had its moments, but it, it, was, it, it wasn't it was needed. It, it also wasn't needed. Like it didn't get the themes. It didn't. Ha it didn't get the. It, it tries to do what Paul Verhoeven did with the original and what the screenwriters did as well, but it it just felt so. <sighs> There's a word. What's the word I'm looking for? I uh, maybe you guys can help. What What's the word I'm looking for? Um, what are you looking for? Cliched? No. What? I mean, what are we talking about? Uh, talking about RoboCop 2014. No, no, like uh, I bad. Mean, like what? Like yeah. I'm, like I'm looking for like yeah you know, something to say other, other than cliched because he th there's a word I, I I can't say I can't say cliched because cliche uh, generic mm, routine. Yes, it felt like a by the numbers. Though yes, both those. It felt like a by the numbers remake of an uh, of an 80s or 90s movie that was sci-fi and it was good like the like the 2012 total recall that i have watched more than once don't ask why i have i mean i fell asleep during that remake i'm not gonna lie and i say that as an extreme fan of the original oh the nothing beats you and that was and funny enough that's also a paul not. verhoeven movie of course that's also a paul verhoeven movie but um paul verhoeven's great oh i love him I, I love him. Even even uh, even Hollow Man, the last movie that he made, which, which is also a Kevin Bacon movie that doesn't waste him. Yeah, I mean, it's not as thematic as his other movies, but it's I, I still find it entertaining because it's a Verhoeven movie. 
But other, Alrighty. other than that, I most of the I mean, the only other one I could say that I came out of uh, going like, what the fuck was this, was Underwater. Yes, I paid money to see Underwater. It it, it was bad. Like, granted, it was it scared me because I because let's just say the elements of the movie kind of like got me a little nervous. So I got me scared, but it it just the way it does like no character development, no nothing and. My fr I'm looking. I'm with my friend Amy, and it was like it was a rainy day. It was like a rainy Tuesday afternoon before the before the lockdown started. We went in, went to go see it, and we were like, "That's it, that's the movie." It just it starts in Medias Rest, and it it, it ends like that. What the fuck are you doing, movie? You wasted twelve bucks. Uh, you got a good point. Let's see here. So next question we got. So this is from Joe. You wake up as Shirakura one day and you have full reign over Kamen Rider and its assets. What do you do first? Uh, immediately stop trying to give stuff to the West. They don't deserve it. Damn it, you took my okay. answer. <laughs> well, gotta be quicker on the draw. Oh, I got it. I got it. Get good and co good, competent writers and showrunners. Uh, I I got one for you. I would take ev I would take uh, and I said this earlier because uh, Techno posted this on the server. I would take every single suggestion that was put on that one tweet that says, you wake up as an executive, what do you do? I would take every single suggestion by every Western fan, and I would do the exact opposite, just to piss them off. <laughs> J just to extremely piss them off. You know, like, that one chick was like, oh, we need, we need an all-female writer cast? <laughs> we, just, we just do another all-male cast. No, no, people dude. Why don't anywhere, you anywhere in the cast. Why don't you tease them with it? Say like, oh, show in the first episode. Oh, we got a whole cast of the uh, uh, all female team, and then they just get killed off and get replaced by an all male team. That would be the fucking hilarious, most hilarious thing I could ever think of. <laughs> I would do it. I would do it. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much my answer. Um, okay, so this one from Kyle. Someone comes to your house, guns your head, no choice but to choose. Who would you give Kamen Rider? Who would you give the Kamen Rider adaption license to? Hasbro or so basically Saban or Marvel? Keep in mind you have no say or creative input after this choice, and whatever the mindset of these of these companies are at the time will be the philosophy of how these are both written and produced. Uh, can I choose to kill you? Can I just shoot no. you dead on my doorstep? No, there 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 is no third answer. Can I dis Damn it. Can I disarm the person? There is no third answer. God, the fucking. Why does this? Why? Why? Why those three specifically? Like, do you want us to suffer? Do yes. you know what you're doing? Do we need yes. another Beetleborg? Yes. I, I don't want another. Beetle. So which Fuck one it. is ha it? Hasbro. Fuck it. Really? They're they're the they are the lesser of evils in this scenario. Not it. Oh you, wow! You 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 didn't go to your boys at Marvel. The fucking modern Marvel? No, fuck that. They're they're that's giving it to the fucking mouse. No, are we now are we All talking right. like like when the MCU started Marvel or now Marvel? Marvel. All right. Marvel. So which one, Phil? Uh, honestly, I I uh, fuck it. Uh, if I could give it to Hasbro, they would at least know what to do with the toys and stuff. Instead of giving it to, I mean, Disney doesn't need another property. Disney would never, I mean, Disney and Marvel would never do anything with it. They would, or at least anything good with it, unless they wanted to do SBD. Like if they did it like SBD, then yeah, give it to Marvel. But no, give it to, give it to Hasbro. I mean, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even put SPD at the hands of Disney. To be fair, SPD was just a happy accident. Um, honestly, yeah, same thing. I would give it to Hasbro. Because think about it. We, we give it back to Haim Saban, you're never going to see those things again. Oh, yeah. And if you give it to Marvel... <sighs> look... You're giving it to Marvel. Just that, you're, that you're says... Giving, it again, you're gonna, as Jay said, you're going to give it to the mouse. You're going to give it to the mouse. They're going to fuck it up. And not only that, they're going to fuck it up. They're going to do what they're doing now with the, the MCU. They're going to do 55 billion movies that all come join into one story. And then afterwards, they're not going to know what to do with it. Yeah, like what happens so, when they finally do get to Galactus? They're not after that. They got to end everything. They don't even know how to get to him at this point. Yeah, so well, it's like, well, Quantum Mania is finally introducing Kang the Conqueror, so 
Like, where do you go after after Kang? Where where I, is isn't he like a Steppenwolf esque character where one person can take him down? I mean, to be fair, Thanos has been taken down by one person before. Than- but Thanos, kind of... Thanos is a fucking bitch. <laughs> Thanos, th- Look, Thanos is he, not nearly as cool as the MCU led you to believe. All right, let's yeah. be entirely real here. Again, Phil, you, you have to think of it this way: you you can't think of you can't think of, a, of an idea for Marvel with our brains because we know things outside of Thanos that are bigger. You have to think of the normie on the side of the street who only knows Spider Man and Batman and thinks they're in the same company. That's true. That's how you have to like think. We, we with this like we know what to do. we know we would know what to do, but. No, but they they gotta do it. For- but again, like, if if you really had to give it to somebody, it would be Hasbro. I, I mean, they they've done an okay job, from what I know, with Power Rangers. They've done an okay job. Uh, I mean, I I don't know anything about, I don't know anything about Dino Fury. Okay, I think that's let me someone that's going right let now. me say this. Power Ra- okay, they're doing well with Power Rangers because they're giving them a budget. Power Rangers needs to get out of this whole oh we're doing episode of the week type stuff. Go back to uh, to uh, you can still do that, but go back to stuff like Time Force oh, no. and tell a story. A Sentai, sh- a Sentai show doing Monster of the Week plots? No, no. I, I mean, no. not like Monster of the Week plot, but like the same generic like plots that we were getting in Mighty Morphin, where it was like whatever situation, like stick of the day, uh, stick of the episode is, and then at the end of re- a resolution with no character development. I want my serialized stories again, like we got. Uh, we got like it within space and lost galaxy and, and time force. That's what I want. See, I don't think we're ever gonna go back to that. That's the thing. At least not. In, at least not in the West. I don't think we're ever gonna go back to that. Because I because I don't think Hasbro thinks that we need that for the shows. Oh, good God! I I don't like saying anything. Look, I don't like saying the bad things about uh, uh, about actors. I really don't. It's just I'm. I'm a little troubled with with Dino Fury. I, I I'm I, I'm a little troubled. Maybe, maybe it's half jealousy. Maybe it's half like half frustration. I don't know, but I just have problems. I heard. I heard they put comic OC bullshit into the show, and I got very unreasonably angry. Yeah, they did. Well, of course, those comics are garbage. Um, yeah, it's it's oh my god, I, I, my god! Like, they, they, like there are things I would say. But I don't want to say them while we're recording because I know somebody's going to take it out of context and I don't really want it to bite me in the ass. I mean, to be fair, from everything I've seen, the Red Ranger's not a very good actor. He's, he's, he's not. Well, he's, they usually aren't nowadays. <sighs> like, I'll, I'll, gi- I'll give him this. Fantastic voice. Oh, yeah. Great voice. Fantastic. It's just, give it to somebody who's actually charismatic, who can act, you know? Yeah. Something like that. Um, the pink, the pink, the yeah, pink I, I, ranger is essentially in, uh, is essentially this generation's Kimberly, but the, uh, 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 at least in my opinion. But uh, I mean, at least at least Amy Jo Johnson. Has, so she's in the dear John the she, so she's in the dear John the Sixth Ranger. Bra- uh, yes. Actually, she's in a relationship. She it's hinted at least in one episode that they might that it might be a blue and pink relationship. Oh wow! Gross. They've never done that before. Oh wait, they have. Gross. So those yeah, uh, it, it, those those are the only choices. Hasbro is the only one. I don't I don't want to give it back to Haim, and I don't want to give it to Marvel. Yeah, so. Haim would. There you go. Haim tried to screw over Gene Simmons. Don't I, I don't trust that. I don't I wouldn't trust that man with with with, an, with, uh, with, with ten cakes. I wouldn't tr- trust him with that one. I'd screw Haim over Gene to, Simmons. Fuck it. Why? Haim Saban tried to screw a screwdriver. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but, but also Haim. Hayam doesn't know what he's doing. He's, I remember watching the toys that made us, and he said when he got the license back, he said he said, he said we're gonna take it back to how people loved it. It's like yeah, but that's the thing, and I can't believe I'm quoting Lin Carr on this one. It's evolved to a point where you can't do that anymore. There's different expectations now. Like people expect the goddamn uh, the goddamn serious storytelling. Like give me give me something like RPM, please. I wouldn't say that though. I would not say that, and that's actually, and I would say that's a pretty close-minded type of way of thinking. What do you mean? Because the the whole you can't go back to that. Because I mean, Jay and I literally just reviewed Kira Major, and that was anything but entirely serious. It was more serialized, and yeah, it had a story, but it was enjoyable. But, what you're what that quote is basically saying is that we can't go back to like the episode of the week stuff. It's like yeah, we can. We th- 
wh- I don't understand this this idea of like we can't go back to like episode of the week plots because I mean you can still make that enjoyable. Can Pure I, major can was I that. rephrase it then? You can go back to that. Wait, you can go back to the to the story of the week stuff, the serialized stuff. That's fine, but you need to know the audience. You need to know what you're doing with that. Kira Major knew what it was doing because it was tongue in cheek, and it still had a plot to it. Yes, it was. It had the shtick of the episode, but it still told a story. It still was like, okay, we're still barely like, okay, they're still looking for the Granter Stone. That's that's good enough for me. And the characters felt like characters. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Okay, but but that's but that's not that's not a problem with how the how the show is structured. That's a problem with the writing. You you have a problem with the writing, not the structure. Yeah, I have a problem with the because, I have a problem because, with the writing. Because structure because we've had serialized I mean shit, dude. I can literally give you the the biggest example of a serialized show that didn't work for Power Rangers and that was Operation Overdrive. It w- it was not episodic. It was serial. Dude, there was a lot more problems with Operation Overdrive than just that. I know, but the thing is, but the thing is, it's not the structure of a show that makes it good. It's what they write into it. Okay. So the, the whole idea of what a structure is needed now. I'm sorry, but that's that's dumb. I, I again, I I don't know where I'm going with this. I'm trying to go somewhere with this, but I feel like I'm going directionalist. I mean, that's just Power Rangers in general nowadays. That that's uh, pretty so much. That, next that's, episode. Okay. I mean, next. Let's go to the question. next question. Uh, let's see, which one should I take here? Alright, what is the absolute worst song, insert, opening, whatever, ha- you have ever heard come out of Kusatsu? There's no limits where it came from or when it came out. There's no limits when it came out or where it came from, just as long as from Tokusatsu. You know what, I will be the first one to say the Armor Heroes opening. I'm sorry, but that shit was garbage. <laughs> That's that was probably one of the yeah, worst um, ones I've ever heard. That was pretty bad. God, I... I used to have a great answer for this, but I cannot remember what the name of the song was. It was... What's it from? Um... Shit, I can't remember. Uh... Oh, I should know this. Yeah. I do not like uh, Zio's opening. I do not like the I or uh, Zero One song. I don't. I don't like them. I I find them atonal. But would you say that's would you say that's the absolute worst? No, I would say uh, I would say Armor Heroes is probably worse. Damn it! I can't. I can't remember for the life of me what it was. I <laughs> you can't uh, remember like for like the franchise or anything. No, I like every time I'm like, oh yeah, it's got to be this. But then I think about it again. I'm like, no, no, it's not that one. It's Ah, damn it! I can't. Re- I can't even remember if it was like an English show or not. Shit. This would be like the Mystic Knights of Tiranagi. Oh my God, no, no! I mean, oh, we gotta cover. That we day. gotta cover that one day. I hope. Eh. Uh, yeah, honestly, I I can't. Okay, that there. Let's go. I'll go with that. Beetleborgs is fucking bad. Yeah, it is. It's terrible. Oh. Uh, I mean, besides the Armor Heroes one, that's really not... I mean, again, there's really not many... There's not many fucking inserts that I can think of or, or songs from Toku in general that are, like, just garbage. Yeah, l- luckily not, they never gonna... play... Luckily they never play the good ones on the show, so... You know what? You know, and I, and I feel bad because I'm just picking on them, but this technically is from Toku, and it did play in a movie. The uh, the Dragon Road cover from Kamen Rider Girls. That was oh yeah, that was shit. that was fucking abysmal. I don't know what they were like. Thinking. I'm so, like that was I, I don't know what they were going on about with that fucking song, but that was bad. Uh, so next one here from Jorge or Georgie. Seeing as this is still a hot button topic and that you already touched on it in your Operation Overdrive review. Do you have a follow-up on your thoughts on Sam Obenta and his seemingly growing number of people who truly believe he is innocent? I've seen many people post on Twitter and other forums that the entire thing was a misunderstanding and that we should just take Benta at his word. Well? Well, I was about to say I agree, but then I was like, wait, no, I'm thinking of Ricardo Medina and him killing a guy, which I totally agree with. Uh, we, ha- no. we do have a question about him, actually. So. Okay, well, that's good. Um, no, Sa- Samuel Binta is a liar and a fraud. Uh, every single piece of evidence he has is either 
uh, completely subjective or impossible to prove, or is already certifiably wrong because it contradicts everything that we have him on video doing, including, but not limited to, actually stealing the fucking thing in the first place. So, uh, no, he is a liar. Uh, he just wants to get back in because he's got nothing else going for him and he needs money. Uh, you should not trust him. You should not believe him. You should call him a lying bitch like everybody else has been for the last <laughs> 10 years. Um, if he wanted to have anybody try to believe him, he should not have waited 10 goddamn years to try and say something. Even then, he would have been too late because we already have him on video stealing the fucking thing. So it would have been too late. It's You know what the best he's part not is gonna about get... that video, Jay? Uh, the, there's a, the video of him, well, one of them where he's stealing it and it's it's a video where it's like there's the operation overdrive theme is playing in the background um, <laughs> i but, remember that so, one can somebody so the send guy, me a video so of the that? guy who uplo- so the guy who uploaded that video is like oh this isn't meant to incriminate him or anything this is just a meme guys i don't i, I totally believe bent <laughs> like, so so bitch. your video that literally incriminates him is not meant to incriminate him okay See, genius the, the best part that i've seen that hit the best part I've seen is defenders do. The best part that I've seen from this defenders is like, well, even if it did steal it, so what? It's just a banner. Let it go. So what if yeah, he stole a banner from that was supposed to be for sick for sick kids? Yeah, sick, dying kids. How do you do that? Oh no, totally. Yeah, let, let Oh no, it's, it's totally fine, guys. He he only stole a banner that was supposed to raise money for fucking cancer. You. Idiots! How do you like? Ugh. I don't care who you are. You stole from kids, dude. <laughs> like what the fuck? Yeah, dude. Oh, me so long ago, guys. Let it go. No, you don't get away fuck with that. You. you stole from sick children. Okay, that was supposed to be auctioned off, and the proceeds would go to Make a Wish. Do you know how much money they could have made off of that stuff? Yeah, if it was even if it was like five hundred bucks, it's still something. And you stole it from children. How do you sleep at night? That that's what I'm saying. Like and like Jay said, people who are believing him are only believing a extremely, extremely emotionally manipulative sob story. And I'm sorry, but I don't care. And anybody who believes him, I'm sorry, but you're an idiot. Like you're a straight up idiot. Because this guy stole a fucking bit. They stole a banner. There's video evidence of it there's people who were at the convention who all corroborated the story and unless you're going to call every single one of those people liars then you're either just sew up your own ass that you can't see the truth or you have made up your mind long ago that this guy is innocent and you're not going to listen to anybody else regardless like I'm sorry but he, he's he's guilty as shit like the only thing that could possibly make it any worse is if like he came out with the fucking banner, laughing his ass off, like, hey, hey, I got it. And you still defend him. Like, that would be... Ugh. Mm-hmm. ugh. ugh. It's stupid. Yeah. Stupid, stupid, stupid. That's that's all I gotta say. Um, so, next one. Another one. We got from Jack. Jack the Lego Maniac. No, it's Zach. Uh, so, Cooking with Jack. It was whatever. Zach. Zach, he's whatever. a Lego Maniac. Okay. Anyway, so so seeing as Ricardo Medina has now been officially released from prison Good after stabbing a man through the abdomen with a sword. Good for him. What what do you think his future is with Ranger and or convention scene? I hope he comes back because again, I I, I do not believe that he killed this guy no. because for for shits and no. giggles. I don't believe that. I mean, l- listen, listen, Ricardo Ricardo Medina proved a very simple philosophy that we all need to live by, and that is fuck around and find out. The guy fucked around, and he found out. He should not have spent any j- kind of jail time, to be entirely honest. The man... Uh, especially after it was the entirely, ju- was entirely justified. Yeah. But, I don't honestly know. He, sh- he should be allowed to come back. He He has no reason to be barred from anything, to be entirely honest. 
Will he ever get a role again in the show? Probably, Probably not. not. Probably not. Maybe, maybe for an anniversary thing at some point, but I, I doubt it. Let me say it like this. Razor Ramon killed somebody in self-defense, and that motherfucker's still making the convention rounds everywhere he goes. I, I mean, think fuck's sake, Medina so did Jimmy Snuka. Well, he didn't kill anybody in self-defense. He just killed well, someone. Well, I mean, exactly. Like, if Jimmy Stucker can get away with killing somebody and still have a career for as long as he These did, are then Ricardo Medina should have. These are wrestlers you're talking yes. about, aren't they? Uh, yeah, that's why I don't know who any of these people are. <laughs> I mean, I know who yeah, Razor so, Ramon is, but I, I don't know who these other guys are. But yeah, so Ricardo Medina, like he did again. I fully believe he killed this guy in self defense. I don't think, I don't think this guy, who was, was like what, like a year removed after no, it, like two or three years removed after Samurai. I don't think this guy just woke up one day and be like, I want to stab somebody with a sword, unless he is just that insane. Which I don't think they've ever been able to prove that he's been he's crazy. Judging, so. judging by how the story went out when I read it, this was uh, with the sword. Uh, with, yeah, this was with the sword. It sounds like it was out of self defense rather than it was. So I mean, self def- usually uh, usually self defense. Uh, no, I I don't know the legal system, but I, I mean, he didn't. Do, I mean, okay. Killing a person is not a good uh, is not a good thing, but it's it, 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 it's it's a bad thing. But he didn't do anything to keep him from being barred from like from a convention. Again, it was self defense, so it's like I don't think I, he should have not gone to jail at all. I mean, shit, he went to jail for five fucking years, dude. Like that's just fucked uh, for something that like he uh, really did not do. Um, so yeah, that's about it for Ricardo Medina. I, I hope he comes back. I hope he gets back to the convention scene. Look, Same I'll here. say it like this. I'll say it like this. If any motherfuckers out there is like, every Samuel Bento is so, she's so innocent. And they're saying that Ricardo Medina Jr. cannot come back. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm going to have him autograph my sword and then kill somebody with it, just like him. <laughs> uh, J.U.R. You know what would be really, fu- you know be really <laughs> fun, though? If, like, you get a, if you would, like, get a sword, he would, like, like put blood on it just to fuck with him. Oh, uh, yeah. you know what? That's a little too that's, cruel. That's, that's Oh, no, that's no. You know, what I would, you, know, you know what I would do? You know what I would do? Th- this, is, this, is my, this is my... I would never actually do it, but, it would, but it's kind of fucked up to think about. Just somebody puts a sword and you just put a blow-up doll with the guy's face at the end oh, of it. You guys, are, <laughs> you guys are fucking horrible. Jesus. You're That'd just finding terrible. out now? No, I know. I know you guys have always been horrible, but I, I, I for, I, it's been a while. I forgot how depraved you guys get. Ricardo Medina Jr., if you're, if you're listening to this, we'll never do that. Call us. No. Um... So, next question. So, we only got two left. So, next question. If you could ever make any type of tokusatsu, what would you make? It doesn't need to be an established franchise. It can be whatever you want. Well, there you go. Mm. What do you guys? What do you guys? Something. Uh, I got. That is a good question. I got um, one already. Uh, something involving kaijus, mecha, and uh, metal heroes. So Sentai, no, yeah. no, uh, no, no, no. It'd be something a little crazier. Explain. Uh, it would probably be uh like a world. Oh, it'd be basically a world where kaiju's are a thing, and there's uh, and there's an entire like security force that's made up of riders or something. It's similar to riders, and. I'm trying to think of how the mechas get involved with that. I don't know. Look, I I got idea. Look, I can't do it on the fly right now. Is it, Phil? Isn't that Pacific Rim? That you're I knew about? you were about to say that. Yeah. I knew you were about to say that. Yeah, you know, it's, that's the thing. I can't do it because Pacific Rim already did it. Eh. Honestly, you, that's uh, I have I've always had a couple ideas kicking around in my head. I never like sharing my ideas, mostly because I'm self-conscious and I don't like people making fun of me. So uh, I'm going to keep them to myself. Uh, I I know that's a cop-out. I apologize. But uh, I do have ideas. I have considered it. But uh, you're never going to hear them. I'm going to all the time. So I mean, that's fair. That's true. But uh, I'm different. I'm the Uh, the same way. I don't don't really like giving people my ideas because I feel like... It, somebody else is going to adapt them, and then I'm going to get pissed. 
see, it's, it sucks to say, but my idea has already been done. Really? And it's called and it's called Unfix. <laughs> oh. I guess that's fair enough. Unironically, that's that that was like an idea I had for a long fucking time, and now knowing that someone did it really goddamn well, I'm pumped for. Because my idea when I was like coming like in college was, what if we made a show about just the people that you know about the about the security team that Ultraman always mogs over, you know? So I was thinking like, how would you do that? Like, would you do it about you know monsters that are human size? Would you do like, would it be a comedy? Would it be serious? How would you do that? And seeing how it's actually done now, I mean, it's it's perfect. So I, I, I that's like that's my one idea of a tokusatsu show where I'd be like, that is what I want to do. And well, unfortunately, someone else already did it, but I think they did it about ten times better than I probably ever would have. So I'm fine with it. That's fair. You know what? That's fair enough that you can admit that. Yeah. Um. So here's another one from Lindsay. Hi there. Hi. My question is simple. Why do you why do so many shows depend on so many fucking writers nowadays? It seems like every season needs at minimum five writers, and Saber goes without saying is absolutely appalling with the amount of writers. Thank you for the answer. Well, besides the obvious cop out of for toys, I just think they're lazy. I think they're actually lazy. Because Pretty much. Yeah. Think of it this way. Back in back in the good old days of double Yes, you're that old, people. Uh, back in the good old days of Double, Axel, Axel as a writer now would be three people, because they can't for some reason, like they don't, they either don't allow them to, or they just can't find a way to write multiple, like, facets of a personality, aka a person, as a single character. Like, think of. Off the top of my head, think of somebody like, I don't know, O's, you know? Think of how complex he was able to get, how that, how they were able to write him. Nowadays, A.G. would be two people. Mm-hmm. He would be one character for each, of, for each of his little facets of his personality. Because really think about it, especially in Saber, really think about it and be fucking painfully honest for yourself. Besides Rintaro. Every single character in that show is a, is an archetype. Every single one. And they do not stray from that. Like, really be honest with yourself and think about that. Because all of them are the same. And the thing is, it's not just them. It was also, it also happened with Zio as well. And hell, it happened with Ghost as well. And, and I noticed this as well. Like, every bad show does this. They don't have characters. They have archetypes. And they usually have multiple characters because they can't give time of day or character development to a single person. Like, nowadays, Slash would probably be Slash, Ren, and Buster in one person. He would be a single writer to put all together. He would probably be that. But now they can't do that, so they put three people, you know? And it's it, it's that thing, you know? It's, it's the thing of, I don't think they either can or won't give these people full characters. They're just... Slash is this guy. Ren is this one. Buster is the old fuck. And the half the time they forget about that stuff. <laughs> exactly. Like, so that's what I'm like saying. Kenzon. That's pretty much why. Kenzon was supposed to be his rival. Was supposed to be Saber's rival. Yeah, one episode. Then they're friends. Now it's, oh, I'm going to work with the bad guy because my sword got sealed. Because uh, my, my friend doesn't like me anymore. He died. <laughs> Buster, like Buster's, Buster's basic, like Buster's basic uh, definition of uh, uh, is Ren, Ren's literal Ren's entire character is Kento stop calling me. <laughs> Pretty much, <laughs> but, but he's he is one step close to becoming to going full yandere. He's basically Michi if he was gay. Yeah, except, well, 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 you, you, to be honest with yourself, Phil, you see, I I mean, he, I mean, the only thing that would make him, the only thing he hasn't done is nuke the U.S. No, the only other thing he also hasn't done is kidnap May and put her in a white dress. That's what he hasn't done yet. Oh my God, just watch, he's gonna put fucking Kento in a white dress. (laughs) 
<laughs> you know what? If they did that, that probably that probably yeah. And he's gonna, sure. he's gonna pull like a full a full Kathy Bates in misery and just like petting his hair, going like, "I love you. You're my number one fan." Pretty bird, pretty bird, pretty bird. Uh, <laughs> um, oh, but, we'll, but yeah, we'll that, save, that's pretty much why. We'll save that's pretty much for first August. Again, that that's pretty much why I think they do multiple characters. Again, toys marketing, and I just think that it's easier to make archetypes than full Dude, characters. Dude, even the now. villains, Again. like Sabel, like Sabella and Durandal, they'd be one writer by that point. If, if back they in the would day. be, like, legitimately, like, take any writer from like, man, you don't even have to go pre-decade, post-decade. Double O's for say most of those people would be multiple writers now. You know what yeah. I mean? Meteor would be like three fucking people. <laughs> so it's like shit. Yeah, I don't think. We and need, you know, of course, and yeah. And I say I don't think we need three versions of Meteor. So, oh. uh, we did. We went through all the questions that we have so far, though we still have a couple of more. Uh, though, I hate to say it like this, guys. But if you're going to send us a question, please send it in English. <laughs> and I don't say that to be mean. It's just I've gotten a lot of questions and, like, I'm I'm going to assume is ta- uh, ta- ta- Tagalog? Ta- Tagalog? I think that's how you Thailand? say it. Tagalog? Uh, what's up? Is it Tagalog? I don't even know how it's to pronounce the, it's it. I, 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 I don't know, actually. I'm not going to lie. Uh, well, the, the language that they speak in the Philippines. I think I I've think gotten, it is just Tagalog, yes. I've gotten some questions from the from people in Indonesia. And, you know, it's it's cool to see that. But in English, guys, please. I don't, I, I'm don't. i sorry to, to, to break it to you, but I can't read <laughs> Indonesian. <laughs> I, I, I don't speak that language. And Google Translate's going to be no help, to be entirely honest. Yeah, so. trust me. I've tried that. I tried that, and one of them was one of them when I put in Google Translate came out to, uh, what was it? Writer PP uh Mud Man show good. And I'm like, what? That's not even a sentence. That's just what Indonesian sounds like to begin with. <laughs> oh, Jay, <laughs> what? Stop it! You're, you're making fun of our audience. So what? I'm just saying. <laughs> you make fun of Rabbit all the time. Exactly. Well, that's, because, that's, because he, that's because you're sick and Rabbit has it coming to him. That's fair. Yeah, I mean, it's true. He does have it's it coming true. to him. Yeah, I, mean, it, it, I mean, it could be worse. It could be Joseph. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I, I, I forgot the about him. I think that's the first time we've ever name dropped him on the show. Oh. Yeah, I guess uh, we can talk about it now. Fuck that kid. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was so in, fucking annoying. I was in the timeout oh section and I found and I found when Jay Oh you saw it? Yeah, when <laughs> Jay when Jay has to get I off f- on, on you. Oh, you know you dumb fucked up. When, when I that bird be picking I fucking, you. Listen. <laughs> I don't pretend like I don't lose my cool frequently because I'm I am not a people person, as I like to say to people who ask, and I'm a I'm a dangerous lunatic and a threat to others, according to my high school therapist, but <laughs> I try not to be a douchebag all the time. I'm an asshole, but that's just because I like to pick on people, because I know that they're going to throw it back on me, and can I, I can deal with that. That's just how yeah. I am. I don't genuinely lose my cool with a lot of people. I fucking lost my cool with this kid. I, let, me put it like, let me put it like this, and I'm going to say this as a blanket level for anybody going forward. If you're going to join... A Discord server, any kind of server, any kind of chat group, any kind of forum, anywhere that discusses a show or a genre, make sure that you actually know the fucking genre that you're talking about. This fucking... Yeah. I... Plain and simple... No fucking secondaries. No secondaries allowed. If you want to fucking be here, learn the fuck what you're talking about. Watch the fucking show. 
He only watched don't like fucking one of them. He watched don't like a fucking movie. read the goddamn wiki and then pretend like you're a goddamn expert and get into fucking arguments with people all fucking day and make an ass out of I yourself. Hate Every because uh, Tendo said he hates the worm. Yeah, it's like where. where? <laughs> Fucking where? I, I, like, yeah, remember, the good guy remember, hates dude, the fucking I, bad guys. Oh my god. No I shit. Remember, also, don't I spoil he... the fucking show for people who haven't seen it. Yes, it might be 20 years old. Oh, no, 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 Constantly, it was like, "Oh, you sorry. That's gonna happen next. Yeah, that's gonna happen next. Oh, oh that's gonna happen next. Oh, oh that's gonna happen. Next. Like, shut the fuck, fuck up. up! I was there. Let me play the fucking oh video my game, God. dude. I, I Holy was, shit! I was there. What? I I was there. And I mean, like, and honestly, like, we had. I I I did. We have rabbit in there. I know we had Sark in there. By the way, Sark. Is we had rabbit. We had Sark. We had rabbit and Sark in there, and I. Think for a little bit, Dragonaut came in, but he doesn't speak anything. Uh, but uh, well, he's he, French, he, so he speaks I'm fine baguette. With that. He speaks baguette. That's what he speaks. Oh, the baguette. <laughs> but oh, I I remember I was sitting. Look, look <laughs> you got. He was lucky that I was listening to this stuff when I had just came home from work, and my parents were in the next room. Like I was literally in the living room, and my parents are listening, and they're like, "What the fuck is he talking about?" Is like he's online. It's like, oh, and I'm like I can hear you, but oh, oh, techno, techno was more pissed than any of us with that. Oh, well, he course, got because. Well, see, here's the thing, techno has a right to be pissed <laughs> because the reason I'm playing the fucking game is because he gave it to me. Exactly. <laughs> so Man, he I wants fucking, to like... hear my real reactions. Oh fucking Christ! Oh, Archer, what a fucking te- clown show! Techno, what? Dude, techno I, blasted him uh, a I, new one in the goddamn sec in the goddamn comments. I remember reading it, and, and he had every right mother, to be mother, mother, motherfucker. Kept being <laughs> the most sad sack, fucking self-flagellating piece of shit every single time. Anybody fucking called him on his bullshit or got mad at him. He's like, oh, oh you, you hate me. Just hate oh, you're just bullying me. Like, like, it's not fair. You know, I try, you know, my computer exploded and then this <laughs> and then that. And then this. He fucking right. said that like three times, <laughs> by the way. I know, no, the best part is like, again, I, 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 I try to be nice as well. You know, again, I'm like Jay. I, I like, I, I can be a dick, but I know because of people who I'm saying it to can throw it back and or take it. The thing is, listen. There's you, I, I, and I'm saying this to everybody in the server who listens to the show. So like, I don't know, like eight of you people. Um, I like when I'm a dick to you guys, it's because you've done something to earn it. All right, or it's because it's the bants, and I'm expecting you guys to throw something back at me. Of okay. Course. When I am genuinely mad at you, you know when I'm genuinely mad because I'm not. Like, I'm not, like, going, ha-ha, you know, after it. No. Fucking, I get sick and tired of having a spoon feed, you idiots, because you don't know how to use Google, and I'm used to that by this point. It's not going to make <laughs> me not mad every time it happens, but I'm going to still keep doing it because I try to be nice. But when you guys piss me off, you know what I'm pissed off, all right? And this fucking kid pissed me the fuck off <laughs> so badly I actually had to do my job as a moderator. I have I have never in my <laughs> life of being a moderator on anything ever actually had to do my fucking job <laughs> and I had to do my fucking job. That was that was how mad this kid made me with I, his I bullshit. knew you were serious cuz you used proper grammar. Yeah. I know. <laughs> you, you I wasn't use proper punctuation. I wasn't I was like, using oh, shit. I wasn't using memes. I wasn't being like I wasn't having the fuck word every other word like I always fucking talk. <laughs> I was like I was being serious. It oh, was shit. <laughs> like it, you know what the fucking funniest thing is? It was the most innocuous thing that set it off. I was like, "Hey, if you're going to be live blogging, do it in the fucking spoiler chat, like I've already told you to do. 
And he's like, oh, you just fucking hate me. Stop being so mean and bullying me. Oh, and I'm like, no. fuck this. I'm done. Oh, I'm no. not fucking around anymore. Dude, I thought I was going to be the one to throw him out. And then Jake comes in. Another- See, because I, 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 I didn't even up throw him out. I was glad I didn't I have fucking- to do it. Oh, he left. He left. That's the thing. He's just like. I don't want to. I don't want to go back to the to the regular group. I'm like, all right, then I'll fucking leave you in here until you tell me that you're ready to when you've learned your lesson. And then he kept going on. I'm like, but I want to. I'm in space and I need to be I'm like, okay, I've already acknowledged that. Don't keep going on. Just acknowledge my fucking post that you're reading what I said. This guy sounds like this guy sounds like spoony. Uh, this guy sounds I, like fucking spoony. Again, no, fucking Spoonie thought, wasn't even this embarrassing. See, Spoonie would have at least fucking I was like, be the one fought to back. throw this kid out. Because, like, again, I, I, I thought that I was going to be the one to throw this kid out because I was just like, I'm just waiting for a fucking reason. I'm, I'm just, like, trying to be super nice about it. But then, like, I wake up from a nap and I see out of nowhere, I have, a, like, notification from the timeout zone in our server. And I'm just like, I'm wait, what? What the fuck? Did Rabbit finally fucking snap? <laughs> Like no, it's this kid, and I'm like, oh my fucking god, you're joking. Of course it would happen. Oh of course the god. first one we think that would snap is rabbit. So you know how much of a lasting impact that kid has on us. It's just he 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 legitimately is probably be, him and besides well besides the guy who became super racist against us. Oh yeah, oh, that was that was fucking hilarious that was, too. Actually, have ever have ever told that story on podcast? I don't think you I, have because it was. I oh don't my god, think so. Serving. So, no, but you uh, should because that guy left a comment talking about it. Oh yeah, that's he right, did. he did. He did. You never, he did. You never he did. responded. So let me, let me, res- let me. Uh, first of all, yeah, we need to. First of all, you should have. You should have responded to that one and be like, "We kicked you out because you're a racist." Second I of all, have. go ahead and continue your story. So, what happened? Actually, you know what? Uh, let me let me set the scene here. Hold on. Let me drum roll you in. Yeah. There's only one. There's only one sound effect to start this off. Hold on. There we go. I don't know if that picked up on Discord, but I just opened a can. So, I'm just um, edit it in post. Right. <laughs> so, randomly one day, somebody joined our server, was, and you know, whenever someone joins our server, it's like, oh, cool. Two day, day before that Thanksgiving. Really ha- that's when it was. Yeah, like, and that doesn't usually happen. Like, we don't get, like, an influx of people that often. So it's like, oh, cool, we got somebody new. So I'm being nice to him, whatever, whatever. And, like, immediately, this guy starts being, like, backhanded compliments to us. He's like, oh, yeah, I mean, you guys are fine, you know. I, I mean, I like I like uh, Cast Stranger a lot more, and, you know, it, it's, it's fine, though. I mean, you guys are kind of dicks, though. I mean, you know, it's fine, though. I mean, you, you guys tend to take, take it too seriously, though, and it's like... Okay. Uh-huh. So finally, we start getting into the idea. So finally, he he like makes me just go like, okay, fine, I'll I'll engage in this. And he starts talking about like why I shouldn't care about these shows. But then he jumps to another thing. It's like, well, you should care, but you shouldn't care that much. And then to, well, you shouldn't care at all anymore. Like he keeps jumping left and right and center and up and down. And it's just like, holy shit, dude, keep your fucking argument to one simple thing. And you know what? If he was just gonna be a stupid asshole. That's enough for me at that point. But then. Oh, but then. Holy shit. So, he automatically assumes that I am a full-on Caucasian, Boston, Massachusetts, blonde hair, <laughs> blue-eyed, German Basically, man. Basically, he thinks he's me. So <laughs> yeah, he thinks. See, he here's thinks the thing. The, the, like, the funniest thing about that argument is that if he was talking to me, he'd be halfway right. He, he thought I was a fucking... He thought I was part of, like, the fucking pure race or something. So... You mean the Aryans? He's, he's talking... Sh- yeah, so he's talking nah, shit. So he's talking shit, whatever, whatever. And then he brings that up, and I'm just like... Okay. One. You're, you're trying to use your autism to deflect any sort of criticism I have to you, which is retarded to begin with. And, mm-hmm. I, and I specifically tell him, I have a nephew with autism, and I have a best friend with autism. They both do not act as and stupid we have as Phil. you do. Hey, <laughs> kid, it was an easy one, Phil. I had to take it. I'm sorry. All right, all right, all right. All right I'll let it He'll take it on the chin. I'll, um, I'll, so, I'll, I'll let it so, but, but so, I, I mean, shit. Rob actually does. I mean, he's mentioned this before. He does. Um, so like, 
no matter how you slice it, you cannot say that I that I'm just hating on you because you're autistic. I'm not autism phobic or whatever the fuck you want to bring up today. So that's already out the window. And then he starts saying like, oh, well, I don't have to take this from someone like you because, you know, I am African-American and you're just some white kid from Texas. And I'm just like, oh, okay, this is going to get interesting. So (laughs) I I mentioned to him, like, you do know that I am of Native American and Japanese descent. He's like, yeah, what? And not only that, but the other white side of me is Italian Hispanic. And then he says, oh, Hispanic, that explains a lot. And I'm just like, excuse me? Oh, boy. Excuse me? He's like, oh, you know, you, you Hispanics have a way of, 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 of acting and thinking. And I'm just like, oh, boy. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Oh now 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 the gloves are coming off. Now the gloves are coming off. You get your ass. So, so I so I so I full on tell him like, dude, look, if you're gonna be legitimately racist, get the fuck out of here. He's like, oh, you can't be racist against Hispanics. And I'm just like, I'm about to fucking shoot you. <laughs> so finally, he's you can't he's be racist against fucking... a fucking corpse either. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, nec- nec- necroist, necroist. There you go. Yeah. So finally, I just get super pissed off, and I just toss him out the fucking window. And of course, because he's still salty about it, he, well, while he's complaining, he's just like, oh, this is why I should have stayed in the Cast Stranger server. I want to tell them all about this server, and they're going to be laughing at you. And I'm like, yeah? You're going to tell, you're okay. going to tell, a, you're going to tell a joke to a laughing stock? Oh. That's what you're going to do? You're going you're to joke about us to a clown? All right, do it. Who got the <laughs> I don't fucking care. Who basically uh, ruined the toy leaks for us? Thanks. By the way, by the way, I shouldn't give you the time of day. I mean, again, I shouldn't even give this guy the time of day. But yes, to the to cast blue or ranger blue or whatever. I know what his name Fuck is, but I don't to, think I should say or it fucking, for definition. Or fucking blue because... He's running low on oxygen because no, he's so I, fat. Low. I know his no, name. No, 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 Jay, Jay. I, I was, str- was going to go for, the, for that one. All right, that was. I was going to go. For, I was going to go for the Willy Wonka joke. But. Are we <laughs> Are we allowed to say his name or is that defamation? Mm. We should. I don't say even his know his name. I do. We shouldn't say his name, his real name. But again, Cass Blue, the fact that you got so mad at a joke at yourselves that you had to write a paragraph about listening to less than a fucking minute of our episode makes me laugh my ass off and hopefully your head is big enough because I'm about to be living in that shit rent free for days <laughs> cuz holy shit that was funny and it does- like I'm sorry but that was look, funny look let me let me just boil it down to this and this is going to be probably the most big boy response um no, no offense to either of you of course <laughs> The reason you're a failure is because you will never, ever get any kind of opportunity with this franchise. You fucked yourself so hard le- talking about leaked shit to the fucking producers at Toei. You you are fucking blacklisted at this point. Whether you know it or not, you are fucking blacklisted. Anybody, anybody with any kind of clout in any kind of industry is going to look up your name and see that you pulled this shit and they're never going to give you anything. Ever. You are a liability. You have killed your own career dead. That is why you are an embarrassment and a failure. It's not just and, that. And that's even with the fact that you already kicked that guy out. It doesn't matter. Your name's Poison. Wait, you kicked who out? Exactly. Even even the... Re- like, that's the thing. And it's the same thing that happened with... It ha- it's the same thing that happens with everybody. You're damned by association. The fact that you let that guy stay with you as long as you did instead of immediately kicking his ass out the second you found out, you fucked yourselves. You're all fucked. You're never going to recover from this whether you think so or not. Whether you whether you ever realize it or not, letting that idiot leak shit to the fucking producers of the company who makes the product has damned all of you. So to jump on Jay's response, and I'll say it like this. The thing is, even before that, and anybody can tell you this for sure, even before that, your name was already being laughed at because 
you came off as extremely desperate to everybody. Like, to me, the moment I started thinking, okay, you're just desperate for attention, is when I post a... Because, again, I, I don't do this often. Anybody who, anybody who like, sees my posts on, like, Facebook and stuff knows it's only once a week. If that, when we do a podcast episode. That's it. It's only once a week. That's it. Simple. So, you know... It's, but the thing is, every single time I would do that... He stopped, of course. But every single time I would do that, he would always post his episode always write under it in the comments and if it wasn't in the comments of my stuff it was in the comments of other people's stuff it was in the comments of it wasn't the replies to other comments he would always 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 do it and the thing is i get it you want to market your shit but if you're gonna do it in such a desperate way you're gonna seem like a desperate person you know what i mean and the thing is when you keep doing that and then you keep going to actual writer actors and posting under their their Twitter in English, by the way, which most of them don't speak, yeah. that you want to interview them, you come off as pathetic. Yeah, this guy, this guy, I've read it. He sent Dan Kurato, or at least his actor, a, a, a Twitter, a tweet saying... Kurato? Hey, yeah, Kur- uh, yeah, sent him a... Kuroto. They sent him. Uh, they sent him a tweet saying, uh, "Oh, do you? Can we interview you? So, you know, we'd love to see Dan. We'd love to see Dan. Uh, Dan on there. It's like, okay, yeah. I, I forget. He can. He speaks English, right? Yes, he does yeah, speak his, English. His, yeah. So at, at the very least, they were acting. Acting. Ask that. Uh, the, the, they were asking the, somebody the, who speaks. He would at least they were be asking able to someone respond. who speaks English. Yeah. Yeah. But the fact that you have to message them. The fact that you have to message them to try in to get public. interview in public, mind you, we anytime we've asked when back in the day when we did guest stars, we, didn't we ask them privately? Yeah, we we would never ask somebody full straight on in public. Hey, be on our show. Yeah, because then like these guys did. Because then, because then you're obligated to do it, or else you look like a dick. So why do that? Also, the fact that you post. When people are are harassing you or are basically saying like like, like all this nasty stuff, you're basically sh- posting your replies as well to try to show that you're the bigger man. On uh, ha, look at all these people that make fun of us. We're the bigger person. No, you're not. You're looking for fucking pity. That's what you're looking for. Okay. If you wanna, if you want pity, talk to your friends or your coworkers about or your co-stars about that. Do that in private. Don't do that on public blast. Because guess what? The internet is fucking full of fucking trolls. Okay? The thing is, the thing is, like, and, and, and I say this specifically to the blue guy and his co-stars. Get rid of him because he's not a good look for you. He is not a good look for you in a PR sort of sense where he does not come off as a professional. You know what I mean? Like, you know, say what you want about me, you know? Say what you want about me. Say what you I want about sp- me. I'm a, I'm a racist alcoholic, and even I have better PR sense than that guy. And see, like, that's what I'm saying. Like, say what you want about me, and when I post, and when I comment, I never specifically attack people. And when I make jokes, I make jokes at, the th- at people who I think can take it. But when you come off as bad as he did, especially in that reply, I remember posting that reply, or posting that reply here. When you come off as bad as he did, and it sounds like you're just angry, and the thing is, he does that a lot. I've seen him do that many times to many people who shit on him. Yeah, I'm sorry, but you come off as stupid. You come off as bad, you come off as stupid, and you come off as somebody that nobody wants to fucking touch. And that's just the truth. So, if anybody out there has a problem with us shitting on cast ranger sorry but get some better taste in shows i don't even i'm not even saying watch our show or listen to our show just watch somebody yeah. else that's actually good fuck no sake. i'm not gonna shill my own stuff fuck that it took me like three years to even bother starting to post links to the episodes anywhere christ sakes i'm not gonna like i'm not gonna start doing it in my own fucking episode the thing is and i said and i'm gonna say it like this when you keep throwing jabs, and when you keep throwing jabs in a way that makes you look like an idiot, 
I'm gonna call you out on it, dude. I'm sorry. I don't really care. You know, I you you look like an idiot. It's plain as day. Plain as day, you look like an idiot. And you know, I'll I'll make fun of the <laughs> I'll make fun of the Toku Ladies podcast. Lord knows they need a uh, fucking no. because they haven't done an episode in a year. Oh uh, no 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 no! What's that? Did what? you did you see why they stopped? Did you see why they stopped posting? Why? Oh yeah, I posted it here, didn't I? No, I don't remember. Yeah, you post you posted their video, and I like. You you showed me like clips clips of it and I I got like I thought it was like a schizo post. Where and was then, it? Then I, I posted it above, but uh, apparently <laughs> apparently one of the one of the members <laughs> went on an extremely racist rant. Oh, dude, send it to me! Send it to me! I need to see this. I d- no 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 they did it on Twitter. I don't know if it's still. I don't know if you can find it by like way back machine or something. But apparently one of them went on an extremely racist rant, and the entire episode was just like, well, well, we as white people, we, we have a responsibility to, to, to stop being white. Oh, and she's like, Christ. oh, that, God. That's, oh, my God. That's one, that's, one, that's one thing we don't do. We don't talk politics. I'm glad we don't. Dude, legitimately, legitimately, listening to that episode, I, f- I couldn't stop laughing. It was just like... Ooh. Ooh, what the fuck, Can I dude? Just say, let's, let's, let's not poke the bear on that one, please? But believe me, I don't want to be running away from an angry, pissed off bear. That bear's dead. Yeah, that's so fine. It, 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 unless it's Grizzly 2, and then it's going to come back and bite us in the ass but with worse special effects, and God knows why they have credits for George Clooney, even though he's not in it. So, yeah, that's. All, all laughing at the blueberry aside. <laughs> you mean that's the, really the, uh, the Veruca Salt? No, no, wait. Ver- Veruca Salt was different when I'm thinking of thinking of. Oh, were you, t- Violet are you talking Beauregard. about the barnacles that Violet turned into Bo- a ball? Violet Beauregard. Violet Beauregard. <laughs> the- oh, I thought you were talking about the bionicles that turned into a ball. You mean the? B- Those are Bow Rock. That's Bow Rock, AJ. Violet Bow Rock Guard. <laughs> No, uh, he would be like, no, no, Blue, 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 Blue would be oh, like that's the, a good worst one. Bor- the worst Borakal of all of them. He, he wouldn't even be a Borakal. He would be like, he'd be like a, a def- like a, man, fucking, <laughs> what would he, what, he wouldn't even be a Scott T, would he? Which one was Gara? which one was Garakal again? I think that was the plasma one, I don't know. Ah, uh, fuck. He's, uh, yeah, the element, the element of, the yeah, fucking Bionicle gets really weird in like the... The expanded canon, where instead of like the six elements, there's like eighteen of them, and there's really fucking weird shit, like 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 sound waves and Wood? fucking plasma Eagle and Man? shit. Wood? No, like no, there's Eagle Man. <laughs> there's technic- well, there's plant life, but there's not wood. Uh, technically, how the fuck not is wood, that an element? Yeah, Plants dude. Like I said, element? it gets. Dude, fuck. There's, there's like psionics is one of the elements. There, there's, there. It's fucking bonkers. All right, it the, gets the, really the fucking weird. Chips. He'd be, he'd be, he'd be a, uh, uh, Ver, he'd be Variki, and that there's no such thing as Variki. Oh my nah, god. What's that one's trying a little hard? But I'll give you that. Uh, well, guys, uh, we're we're winding down here. <laughs> Yeah, what, what, uh, we should have. What, well, so, let's shall we? Say I took us down a very bad path. Shall we? Uh, eh, no, 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 no I think that was a. I think that was a good little. It was. It was a good little trip down memory lane. Look, <laughs> as, long, as long as we don't talk about JC, it's fine. <laughs> and you <Ooh>. just <laughs> look. We talk. We talk about him too much when we do. Honestly, I just like. I just like telling him the story. I just like telling the story because. Everyone's mouths drop. Everyone's jaws drop when I say he wanted hit- he wanted us to put him on a screen at a panel while he's wearing like a fucking monkey suit, a blue suit. To Gangnam style, a blue suit to Gangnam style. <laughs> I I laughed my ass off my ass off when you said Phil, that. Phil, that was um, that was the kick of the hill theme you just did. No, no, I, I <laughs> no that no that's <laughs> yeah, that's what you were just. I just that's, did. <laughs> bum, bada, bum, 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 bada, bum, 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 Gangnam Style. Bum, that's the same. Bum, that's bum, the same bum, thing. That is not. That is not Gangnam Style. 
Bumpa da bumpa 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 <laughs> That's how you end an episode. <laughs> hey, do you want me to do it again? No. Um, this is just a nice letter that we got that I wanted to read because it's a, it's very nice. It's actually a really heartwarming one. <clears throat> I'm gonna give it the proper reading. Hello, everyone. My name is Charles. I am 62 years old, and I have been into Toku ever since I first saw Ultra 7 on a stray TV waiting for my father whilst he was in a business meeting in Japan. And ever since then, I have been in love. I simply wanted to write to you all to thank you for your continued love of this genre that has brought me, my children, and even my grandchildren joy. Some may find what you do as childish or even unnecessary, but as someone like me who has learned over the years... It is that any bit of history and anyone who documents that history is truly valuable. So never let the detractors say otherwise, and hopefully you keep on this love for many years to come. Lord knows I enjoy your show, and that's all I need to know. Thank you for your time. God bless you. Charles. So that was a nice little letter, wasn't it? Yeah. Thanks for that, Charles. Thank you, Charles. (laughs) Much appreciated. It genuinely, genuinely is a very, very nice letter. It really is. I mean, Heart, very heartwarming. Very, very much appreciated. It's, it's a weird feeling to describe. It's, <laughs> it's a weird thought for me to describe, but it's, it's I'll, appreciated. I guess I, I'll just leave it at that rather than struggling and ruining <laughs> the moment. I mean, I'll say it like this. I mean, the fact that we've been able to, to hit that many people, especially someone. Who is, who's been here for, I mean, shit, since Ultra 7, so, like, he's seen it all at this point, I mean, it's, shit, man, that's, <laughs> I mean, hey, you know, I, I'm, I'm just glad someone's watching, I'm just glad someone's listening, and it's cool. Yeah, <laughs> it's, it really is. It's like Jay said, I don't really know how to describe it other than gratitude. <laughs> yeah. It's, it, it, it feels nice. To end off, should we uh, chill out what we're doing right now? Yeah, let's. <coughs> uh, yeah, yeah, sure, I yeah. guess. Uh, <laughs> I'll go first because I'm I'm about halfway done. I need to finish out video. Yeah, doing the bits where I cut out me doing that in the audio. <laughs> uh, my next episode is on Taskmaster's recent miniseries. And a series called Legion from the early 90s by oh boy. Alan Grant and uh, Keith Giffen. It's not what you think. Um, not that Legion. Don't worry. Uh, it's pretty fucking good. Uh, it's a really great series up until like the last 10 issues or so. Um, uh, the One of the characters in the series is, like, one of the most popular characters in DC nowadays, and when the sh- series started, they were fucking irrelevant. And you'll never guess who it is until I point it out, because I'm not going to confirm if you get it right either way. Is it, uh, um, who, who was it that they that they leaked uh, the, who the identity of the villain was? Monarch! Is it Monarch? Phil, he literally just no. said he's not going to tell you if you're right or wrong anyways. Well, it, it, first of all, it could have been Monarch because Monarch didn't fucking exist yet when Legion started, so you're wrong on two parts. But Monarch's um, always disappointing. But also, he was. Armageddon was fucking bad. I don't know why, I don't know. Anyways, uh, like I said, uh, you'll never guess it because even if you get it right, I'm never going to confirm it. Um... AJ, do you want to take a half-assed guess just so I can shoot you down anyways? Norman Osborn. <laughs> yeah, Norman Osborn, famous <laughs> DC character, yeah. <laughs> I mean, you know what? Fuck it. They made Norman Osborn the villain of so much shit, I wouldn't even be surprised. Wait, wait, if it's DC Norman Osborn, it's like Dorman Cosborn? Is it, Z- <laughs> is it Zoom? Is it Professor Zoom? Yes, no, he was. He was. No, no, no. Because no, it's no. always been him. It's always been him, Barry. Well, he. Well, it wasn't him because he was dead. Um, <laughs> oh, he, he. It was just one of those times he just died. Oh, yeah. yeah, it was. That was after his. Uh, 
Well, technically, it was his first. I mean, second, if you count him getting trapped at the end of time as a death, which, I mean, they kind of tra- treated as one, so... Um, was this before uh, Blackest Night? This yes. would have been, like... It's in the 90s. Like, 20 years before Blackest no, Night? No, I mean, though? like, death-wise. <laughs> like, is this, like, the death... Is, like, his Blackest Night reincarnation from that death Phil. or a different death? Phil. Yeah. Phil, per- Professor Zoom died in 1983. All right. All right. Blackest Night was in 2009. Okay. Do the math. He's been dead for 20 years. He's come it, back like yeah. five times. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I mean, then again, within that time, he did come back like twice, I think. And then, well, that's not counting <laughs> then the died. second is, Professor Zoom. Is, but, is, yeah. is his well. is his resurrection related to Brother Blood? What the fuck are you on about? No, Brother Blood is the expl- apparently according to the, according to the Fedora one, the reason why a lot of the heroes come the back. The Fedora one, fuck off. Uh, um, he doesn't know what he's talking about. Anyways, so, yeah. uh, that that was a failed bit because I was hoping one of you would magically get it right. But either way, um, from it, there, it's the century. What? Oh, is it commanding? Is it Kamandi? Oh, no, no, it, that'd no. be fucking based though if it was Kamandi. It's Kamandi's. uh, oh. it's uh, it's the Max. <laughs> Again, oh, is it Alfred? Uh, could it be the is Max? It, no, 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 it's Cerberus. Because... <laughs> Cerberus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love Dude, this. Dude, that'd be great. <laughs> wouldn't that, wouldn't oh. that be the funniest <laughs> shit? He goes on his Dude, be, he yeah, I'd like fucking it. read. I would fucking read a crossover with Sarah. Batman, do you understand? The women will only kill you, Batman. <laughs> uh, I beat my wife, Batman. And Batman goes, cow a bummer, Sarah. Cer- <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna, I was gonna try and imitate Batman, but I was already doing the Christian Bale voice with Cerberus. I'm Batman. Oh I'm my god, Batman! I got a sexy voice that uses commercials. You're, you're you're not your your voice does not go that deep. Huh? So it's, it's, no. no, no. I mean, then again, neither does Will Arnett's. So I like. I mean, yeah, I Will like Arnett Will, constantly like Will sounds like he's trying to like be. Will, voice. Will Arnett constantly sounds like he's trying to he's, be a deep voiced. He's great as a comedy Batman because he's clearly just like fucking around. I don't. I don't think he would work in any other context but the Lego movies, though. Yeah. Um. Uh. F- uh I don't know why I'm now. I'm just thinking of like what would a crossover be with be, with Severus and Batman. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he crossed over with uh, Spawn, so it could work. Batman, they fight the uh, they fight Bat the invisible Girl. matriarchy. That uh, yeah, to I don't kill know, the Batgirl. Batman, fucking uh, rolls dice, uh, poison ivy. I guess fuck it. Rolls. He doesn't really have. You know what? Don't, you know, that actually Batman doesn't work. really have any like. I mean, he's got a couple of female villains, but they all kind of suck. Well, Catwoman's, Catwoman's not, a villain, not a villain anymore. Because she's basically Harley like, Quinn's not a villain anymore. Wait, Harley Quinn's not a villain anymore? That's what made her so interesting. No, anymore. she's a relationship. She's a fucking good, yeah. She's a, like a fucking good guy now. Oh, she's for like fuck. an unofficial. She's an unofficial bat now. It's no, weird. Oh, she, I don't know why. Serious? Don't tell me she's a part of the bat family now. She's she's basically like the unofficial sixth ranger. Oh, of the bat for fuck's now, yeah. sake! Fuck you, I mean, listen, that's not the craziest thing they've done with Harley Qu- Quinn lately. Birds of Prey? They, they hooked her... Well, I was going to say they tried to hook her up with Booster Gold, but that, yeah, that was pretty what? crazy. Uh, oh, I don't read Booster, Booster Gold, Gold, but I'm pretty sure that's the last person she should be set up with. Looks, listen, dude. I ship it. All right. Hey, I un- I ironically. Dude, I'd ship rather it. ship her with Blue Beetle, and I know nothing of Blue Beetle. Except for Fuck it. parts of Ted Cord. Listen, Ted Cord has better taste than Harley Quinn. All right, he's still Harley friends Quinn with Booster, per- though. Don't, don't he's still friends with Booster. A- exactly my point. <laughs> Booster Gold is the right kind of man for Harley Quinn because he's Retarded? a failure and a fraud. <laughs> he's oh, a fraud. Oh, so she, she? So what's this? She's gonna cheat on him with Guy Gardner? I hope. Oh, I, no. That I would love to see. No. That I would love to see because Guy Gardner is such a prick. Guy I Gardner mean, wouldn't do that, though. I don't think so. 
He's Guy Gardner's not, not that, that Guy asshole. Gardner's not not that type of guy. He's he is a bro through and through. He's not that type of guy. Dude, yeah. he's a prick. Out you know, I don't. I really hope. I mean, he I really he would those, uh... he would and has fingered a girl and then sniffed his fingers afterwards. <laughs> but he's not the type of girl to cuck one of his friends. Oh wait, See, he's I, a girl now. I really now? hope the rumors are. I really hope the rumors are no, true. No, no, I'm talking. Phil, listen to what I'm listen to. Me. I know. Okay. I, I really hope the rumors are true <laughs> that apparently they want to do a Guy Gardner relaunch movie. <laughs> uh, I'd fuck it. I mean, well, no. the TV show is going to have Guy Gardner in it, so I don't know why they would do a movie afterwards, but I'd be down for it. Why not get, they have to do proper Guy Gardner, though. They, okay, give give something to what, you know, give like a, a give John Stewart or, or Kyle Rain or something. John Stewart's getting the movie. Okay, that's good. He's getting the he's like John's being put in the actual movie. Kyle, nobody gives a shit about Kyle anymore. Is it's it a shame is anymore. it weird Kyle that is, actually kind of is it weird that the fir- that I I mean I've seen pictures of Green Lantern, but I was actually first introduced to him through Justice League, and it was John Stewart. It was John Stewart's portrait of uh, Green Lantern. No, because a lot of and people I was got very not entirely. And I was very conf- I was confused because I was like, wait a minute, isn't that he didn't? I just saw Green Lantern. He doesn't look like that. And then I found out that there's multiple. Wait a sec. Wait a second. Green Lantern's a white guy. Why is he here? I was trying Why not to blind? go there, but you. I mean, great. <laughs> Why is Green Lantern granted. allowed on the spaceship? <laughs> granted, they did use Kyle Rayner in the Superman cartoon, so I, I think. Oh really? It, it, yeah, they did. I mean, he was in one episode, but it I it that. literally was just. Half we need a token, and half uh, I think it was just pre- I think it was uh, Duffy was in charge at that point. So I think it was literally just his preference because he liked Stewart more. And half we don't have any black people otherwise. Kind isn't of isn't Stewart <laughs> in, isn't John Stewart a, a, an interesting character? I mean, I know that he's isn't he like a I war like hero? Oh. Depends on which one you. Go. I mean, depending he, on who. I, I mean, was about to say, it's, it, depending on who you ask, he's an interesting character. I mean, he would. I mean, I, I, I remember him in War of the Green Lanterns, basically killing Mogo, and I was heartbroken by that. Because, and he was heartbroken by that. Because, I mean, yeah, John's. I mean, John, John's all right. He's he's a little divisive, though. I mean, not for the reasons you would might think. Um, but no. Uh, <laughs> oh my I god! I was just thinking. I, I was just t- thinking. I don't know why, but I was just thinking, like, what what if, like, like Golden Era, fucking Green Arrow met, like, Jon Stewart, and he's like, when did they let you people on the justice ship? I don't Wait, know did why. you say, did you say Golden Age who? Golden Age Green Arrow. <laughs> I don't know Arrow. why I said Golden Age, Golden, uh, no, fucking. Green, Green Arrow's a fucking liberal. He'd never say that. Oh, no. Okay. So, oh, no, it's, uh, who is it? It's I can see Jonah thing. Hex saying something like that, but Jonah Hex is kind of, well, badass and disgruntled. Jonah Hex is also old, so. I, I, I actually have, I actually have kind of a fascination with Okay, Jonah okay, Hex. okay, okay. All right. All right, AJ, who, who were you trying to make a joke about? Oh, I was just trying to say I, I want someone to go up to John Stewart and be like, when did they let you people on the fucking ship? <laughs> oh, you know what? Horrible. That'd be pretty sick. Um, I, like, because cause that seems like like a comic book storyline right there. Yeah, maybe it, it was a comic book storyline. Yeah, maybe line. in 1940. It was. No, there, there was a comic I mean, book storyline. I don't know. There, was, there where it's like, there was, like oh. There was, hey, Jay, you ever going to cover any a, Frank uh, Miller's? Eventually, I've decided to do pick my episodes by holy random terror. chance. So only holy terror, twenty five no. part series on holy terror. <laughs> oh, he's uh, gonna be so holy drunk. terror is one of the holy terror is one of those books that's in like that's the danger category, not because like the subject matter, but because I am afraid that I'm gonna read it and be like. Oh, this is unironically based. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, he's he's gonna be drunk as hell for that. You know, you know this 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 uh, uh this Frank Miller guy's got a couple of good ideas. <laughs> yeah. Let me tell you something, brother. Frank Miller has a couple of good ideas. Let me tell you something, Mean Gene. Frank Miller, we gotta we gotta slap those towel heads. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I, I, I can see Hulk Hogan saying. Oh, okay. you know that it was originally yeah. supposed to be a Batman story, right? Yes, I yeah, do. Yes, know. I do, Phil. Yes, I do. <laughs> Everyone knows that. It, which was, it, yeah. In which Anyways, DC was uh, just like, no. Like, this comic sucks, 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 sucks. 
Thank you, Linkara. You're welcome. Anyways, oh, he's gonna um, he's gonna roast us one day. Somebody's gonna ask him on his live stream, like, "What do you roast he, us?" Oh, 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 yeah, oh, yeah. We're gonna get roasted by fucking he's, Lightbringer. He's gonna. We're gonna get roasted the by the Crux boy. Oh, 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 I'm oh, sorry, Phil. I, I, I didn't fucking review Lightbringer just to fuck. You don't should. give him his jacket. Take his jacket. Don't give him his jacket. Phil, Phil, man, I don't know what's worse. Br- oh, what's up? I don't know what's worse is that I would have to read Lightbringer. <laughs> Or is that I would have to read Lightbringer again? J- Jay, oh. if it makes you feel better, I'll read it with you. <laughs> okay. Look, look, Phil. Phil, a roast from Linkara would be like would be like my like my five year old niece calling me poop. It would it would mean nothing. It would mean nothing to me. I, w- I want to hear that. Look, Phil. Look, Phil. I can. Because even if you were to come out today and be like, "Oh, these guys are a racist fascists. They probably suck Doug Walker's dick." Yeah, what's you know your what? point? I will always be. I will always be the better man because I can sleep at night knowing I do not jerk off to the green M and M. Oh, that's right. He did. He did. I forgot about so, that point. No I matter what happens, no matter no matter what happens, no matter what anyone says. I do not jerk off to candy, which ironically is why Linkara is now the size of a fucking four by four. Are you sure about so, that? Hey yo! <laughs> have you? Have, oh my god! I shouldn't even say anything about his new girlfriend. No, that's his wife. That one. Oh, that's his oh. wife. Jesus yeah, Christ! Yeah, he got really? married like three years ago. Jesus, I'm Christ, granted. Linkara. I mean, I know that I know someone with your fucking face can't get a fucking lady without a bag over your head, but Jesus. Wait, what? Granted, oh, Jesus Christ. if he if he can, what's your excuse? I mean, to be fair, he did marry somebody who who thinks the Home Shopping Network is commercial free. So what? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you guys go down deeper rabbit holes than I do. No, I don't even I, know what the I fuck said, you just said. I no, I said he did marry someone who thinks the Home Shopping Network is commercial free. Just be- think about that for a second. It's not commercial free. It's all commercials. Yeah, that's why I'm saying. Oh my God. That's why I said it. it, it it's like those jewelry. <laughs> it's like all those. It's like Shop NBC yeah, where like and fans and shit, yeah. calling them, going like, "Yeah, you're uh, you're basically yeah, you're in front of the daytime network, and you're making my my grandpa waste his money. So uh, you should go kill yourself." Jesus, dude, I love South Park. I love South Park. <laughs> <laughs> um. Well, funny enough, we were talking. We were just shilling Jay stuff. So, what about Phil? Phil, shill your stuff. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, I am you fucking doing. <laughs> uh, I am still working on One Division. It was a. I was originally going to do LA Confidential, but when I started getting around to it, I really fell in love with One Division. So I, I, I wanted to cover it. It's. It, it, I feel bad for you. I, I'm almost done with it. Honestly, I'm up to like the second to last theme. That I wanted to talk about, and that's basically. Uh, have I? Am I going to give any thoughts about Falcon and the Winter Soldier? Probably not, because I, I really want to cover a movie, and I think the next one is going to have to be uh, Full Metal Jacket because it's already in the trailer for Topo, and I can't keep delaying it long any longer. What, what do I look like, Star Citizen? Oh, hey yo! <laughs> that's still topical. Exactly. <laughs> Surprisingly, <laughs> surprisingly, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm working on that. I, <laughs> surprisingly it's, topical. It's it, it's taking longer because well, look, it, 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 look, I, you can joke around with me not having a good work ethic. It's just when I come home from work, it varies. Sometimes I get home at like at eleven Costco, o'clock at night, uh, and so. there, and if I get home at a decent time. The, the last wow. thing I want to do is, is is work. It's mostly I'm just drained from the day, but I'm gonna, I'm getting to it. I'm uh, I, it'll probably uh, I just need to finish it up. I I can't give a time just now, but it's gonna get done soon. Twenty twenty three, maybe. I I I actually what what about I you know I might put a suggestion in the uh, in the Discord group, seeing like what people might be interested in because there are. Like, especially with TV shows, like, there are a lot of things. Well, there are things I want to cover, but maybe there might be some things that I want to leave up to everybody else, see if they're interested. Go for it, yeah. Uh, I'm going to ask you. Oh, yeah, you've downloaded Vegas, I'm, I'm assuming. Oh, that. Oh. 
Yeah, you might want to get on that. <laughs> yeah, I gotta get on that. I have got to get on that. I got the equipment. Again, just 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 follow just follow what the thing says, and you'll get it. I got you. I'm, I'm not I'm not saying what the thing is because I, I don't want to get in trouble or I don't want to ruin it for anybody else. As long as, long as you're not inept, you should be able to do it. I got um, you. I got you. And besides that, me, me, I'm just, I'm still doing the girl gun lady stuff, which Jay, it's about to finish. So, um, all right, I'll pick it up at some point. So, girl gun lady, I'm doing those reviews, doing the Yakuza reviews. About almost done with two. Long ass fucking video. I cannot wait till three because that's going to be even longer. And I'm going to do Catherine right afterwards, which is fun. And then I got those other videos like the Gravity Falls one and shit afterwards. So, looking forward to that. And then you're going to watch fun. The Frog Show, because I've been telling you to watch it for, like, three fucking weeks now. Wait, The, the Frog Show? You know what? If I if I watch The Frog Show and I end up hating it, that's on you. Wait, is he... Ta- you know what? That, that'd be fair, because then you fucking watched it. Is he talking about the one that was based off of a TV... Off of the YouTube series that got turned into a TV series? No, I'm talking about fucking uh, Amphibia that I've been shilling for like a month and a half now. Oh, on the I, Discord server. I didn't know what the fuck you're talking. Hey, hey, Jay, I don't. I, Jay, I don't. I, 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 don't know what you're talking about, man. It's the one for the the one black chick. The one- yes, yes, it's a show. It, they had a fucking liter- literal on-screen murder in a Disney show. It's fucking amazing. <laughs> Again, if if I watch it, and it ends up being garbage. I'm blaming everybody. I mean, I don't know. What's what's next? Sar- we don't really have a nick. We don't have really a nick nickname for him. Sarcast, sarcast, whatever. Sark. The fuck his name. We call him Sark, uh, like the villain. Sark. Oh yeah, Sark. Yes, yeah, Sark enjoyed it. Uh, yeah, but so, he can't speak English. I mean, he yeah, he's he's. <laughs> so. Oh, what's next? He can't speak what's, English. What's next? You're gonna cover We Bear Bears. Hey, shut the fuck up! That show was comfy. I never watched it. I, 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 we bear bears. We bear bears is not something you cover. It's something you watch <laughs> and you're just like. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh. You'll like that show, but then you'll hate the show that's actually fun. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, you don't like the bears? You don't like the bears just fucking around? Dude, I want to cover. I want to cover the 2011 I, Thundercats. I have never even. I've never even watched an episode. I, I don't care what Look, anybody I, says. I, 2011 Thundercats was based. Sh- I based this. Fuck, it was good. Look, all I, I all I can say is that I I enjoy Wee Bear Bears when I am in a very enhanced state. That's all <laughs> I say. That's all I'll say. So oh, it's one of those I'll, shows. I'll probably, it's one of the shows you need the peyote for. Look, let's just say I'm not eating prosciutto melone for this one, okay? What What about the pepperoni? Oh, I'm doing a lot of pepperoni with this shit. Um, I really so, hope. But yeah, I, so I mean, I really hope somebody saw that clip from Red vs. Blue that I saw about what pizza. So, um, but yeah, so like I'll, I'll probably do some sh- some episodes. Of that. I'm gonna do the Gravity Falls one because I feel way too strongly about that to let it go. Um, maybe I'll do Cora, and then have I wanted Twitter to cover Cora. Yell I, at me. I wanted to cover Cora. Well, it's whoever does it fastest, huh? Dude, how about we both do it? <laughs> I'm not waiting how about ass. How about uh How about Chad does How it. about we watch an episode a night? Like one episode a night, Ellie, all three of us. I'm not waiting on you, bud. And then I'm and then going. we do a uh, do a full review of all of us where nobody has to write a script. And we'll call it like a like a podcast or something. Yeah, yeah how about we yeah, do that? Yeah, what if we did that? What if we did fucking podcasts again, guys? Yeah. Right? Jesus. Cora Christ. becomes the podcast episode. End of story. De- done deal. Through. It's no, it's not. It's not good enough. Nor to Toku. Dude, I just want to read. Look, I want an excuse to talk about uh, to uh, to watch Cora so that way then I can actually watch it. Because I want to actually debate my damn coworker to basically say that Aang then is better. Watch it. Then watch it, Phil. I'm not telling you not to watch it. Just watch it. All right. Also, if anybody's wondering, no, I will not be covering the Bad Batch because I don't really want to cover Star Wars right now. I really don't. There's a lot of Star Wars. Um. No, so I'm, I'll probably do Korra and get yelled at on Twitter and called racist, monkey, <laughs> stupid, BP, poo 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 or something like that, which is ironic because they'll just be more racist than what they actually tell me. Um, I... I, I know this is a death wish. I know it's a death wish. But I kind of want to review the downfall of Fairly Odd Parents. 
<laughs> without talking about Butch Hartman, because I, yeah, that's just a whole fucking can of worms. And besides that, I think that's about it. That's, I Dude, that's I got, the, best, I I got the answer to you for that one. Channel chasers should have ended there. I don't even know how long it, it nah, went. I'm, I'm not gonna watch the no, that show. was that was so early on that there's no way they would have ended it there. It should have been. They the were supposed movie. to, but apparently the heads up were like, "Yeah, so we want more." Uh, get, get, you know all that uh, you made it. It should that. it should have been the first movie because that first movie was amazing. Oh, Abra Catastrophe! That 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 was that was <laughs> a really fucking good movie. I think um, that, I think that led to my to my love of of wearing hoods over my head because you know he wears Santa's oh, Santa's bag over it like a cape and a hood. Yeah, he. Be- I bet he wears his bag. Um, ah! yeah, that's about, <laughs> that's about it. I think. I mean, I if, if I can remember any other shows, I'd probably do it. Honestly, I kind even if we can't do it on the podcast, I would love to do season two of Lucha Underground one of these days because I hear that season two was fucking amazing. Of what? Which. Compared to season one, Jay, I don't know how crazy, how much crazier it can get, but holy shit! Oh, that one you guys are doing well, on your I own. Know, I can't watch Lucha. I know I spoiled myself that Rey Mysterio shows up. So yeah, he does. Uh, other than that, I don't know how much crazier it's going to get, but based on how the first season went, I can only imagine. Dude, as long as my boy Prince, I, Kuma I hear. Is good. I see. I hear. I don't know for sure, but I know. But I've heard that there's another Sierra Romero match on there, and I'm just like, okay, I'm in already. <laughs> Oh. What? When? It's gonna be some shit. All I want, all I want, is a match between Prince Puma and Mio Muertes. There is one. They if had, you watched they it, had you like would have three known. Three matches, Phil. If you fucking yeah. watched the rest of season one, you would have gotten well, that. Well, I'm sorry, that but it was fly. boring, and it was it was boring. <laughs> I, was booing, booing. Look, I, I don't find that stuff fun, okay? There were some things that I found you're, appealing. You were, liter- you were literally talking about how you wanted a specific match and you were excited for a match, but then you're going to say it's fucking boring. What is wrong All with you? All I wanted was that match, and I couldn't find it on fucking YouTube. Good. You don't deserve it. Okay, maybe I don't, okay? But at least I know who Prince Puma is. At least I know who they, like, who they are. Absolute plebeian. What? Yeah, I am a plebeian. Absolute Yeah, I am plebeian. a fucking plebeian. Go, go, back, go, back to, go back to watching Linkara. Get out of here. Yeah, you really think I would watch I would watch Lightbringer? Mr. Lightbringer yes. himself? No. Yes, I do think. Dude, <laughs> I, I stopped think you would a you long said time you ago. The only reason I ever watch them again, it's, uh, it's basically, it's like heroin. It's bad for you, but it feels good sometimes. <laughs> so uh, What the he, fuck? I, I I just want what everyone listening to What the fuck are you talking people, about? I want people listening to know, just to realize, he just said he does not watch Linkara anymore, and then he just said that he watches him every <laughs> once in a while. The, 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 the radical <laughs> IQ changes of Phil is fucking fantastic, isn't it? It's called extremes, alright? Phil is, Phil is more bipolar than fucking me half the time. Jesus. <laughs> Well, see, I'm talking about bipolar in intelligence, not emotion. <laughs> That's fair enough. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa, That's whoa, whoa, whoa. fair. <laughs> uh, hell, uh, what, 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 are you, you calling me stupid, Pendejo? God, you were the whitest motherfucker. You're calling me stupid? <laughs> you're, stu- you're calling me t- Okay, maybe I should have said that. Like, even Jay can do that better actually, than you. Actually, I'm going to be honest. What is a Pendejo? Uh, bitch. Bitch. That's what it is? fucker. Is, is, Bitch, is, dumbass is, fucker. It means is, a lot of things. Is, punta, is putana the same thing in Spanish as it would be in Italian? Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. It is. Uh, so there's Phil's language lesson for the day. <laughs> um, <laughs> This has been going on for almost three hours, so maybe we should Yeah, go. we should stop because I, I know that... Uh, yeah, I'm, start, I, I'm starting to have the onset of heat stroke, so... I I, mean, <laughs> so, I got yeah. work it I got work tomorrow. So after the Yakuza video comes out this week, which today's Wednesday, right? Yeah, hopefully it comes out this week. Uh, next week we should be able to do Operation Overdrive. SPD. Uh, no SPD. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> yeah, you're talking Actually, about Lucha Jay, Underground. Sh- shall we? Sh- shall I spoil something that I had an idea for? So, uh, if I heard half of what you just said, then sure. Should I spoil something what I had an idea for? That's what I said. 
Sure. So, after SPD, I thought, Jay, why don't we forgo the wheel for one week and do something that I've been saying we wanted to do for a while? Oh, no. And review a show we've already reviewed. And I was thinking, perhaps... Perhaps. We review X-Aid. Really? You know what? I'd be down for it. All right. So after SPD, you hear it first. After SPD, we will not be doing the wheel that week. We will be doing a review, re-review of <laughs> Common Rider <laughs> <X-Aid. laughs> <laughs> So uh, I, we'll I tried, see. I tried to do uh, the review theme, so. So we'll see if so Jay's uh, so Phil's bad singing aside. So yes, we will be doing a re-review of Common Rider X Aid. We'll see if it actually sends this test of time, or maybe it was just fucking shit. We were just so fucking mogged by ghosts we couldn't realize it. Uh. I was I was kind of up in the air between this one and build, but I think we can let builds do a little bit more. So, also because we'll isn't see. build on our uh, on our uh, pod bean? Uh, yeah, but I don't really like. I mean, I think Jay can agree. I don't like the way that it sounded. Was, it's was it's I the, in that the audio one? quality of it? It was not mm. great. I don't think I was in that one. No, you were not. So, we'll build. We'll do. We'll redo it a little bit later because I think. Honestly, this is from what I've seen and what I remember. It's actually kind of gotten worse. So but we'll, we'll, we'll see. <laughs> we shall see when we get to build. But that's later, later, later. For now, we'll do SPD, and then afterwards, we're going to be doing x So that's interesting. Also, I should say right now, um, if in June or July we don't, or at least I don't, appear in a podcast, it's because I'm extremely busy building. So it'll probably just be like Jay, Chad, and Phil for like a cup for like a week i mean hey I, I i only miss like a single episode a year so fuck it so mm. yeah so it, it'll probably just be jay we'll do better than the last time oh, that'll, that'll be fucking sure yeah it wasn't jay alone I mean, on that one i mean look jay at least this time yes. you're gonna have a co-host who's not a wet blanket so hey! yes and also probably i'll make sure to take notes uh, yeah so you're talking about me um, th- so, yeah, so anyways, uh, next week, SPD, and then after that, x So, with that being said, we're going to end it for tonight because we went on way too fucking long, and I got to edit this fucking huge-ass mm-hmm. thing and the <laughs> episode video. So, that's going to be fantastic. So, as always, I am AJ. That's Jay. Good night. Take care. We appreciate everything that you say and all of the nice comments, despite the fact that we're all completely insane. <laughs> That's Phil. I am so so drained right now. I completely forgot the difference between the between uh, how a story is structured and the writing uh, apparently for a series. So yeah, I'm, I'm I'm just happy to be back again. I'm, I'm I'm a little tired. I gotta go to bed. And we'll see you guys next week. Bye bye. Okay.